What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Let's open up brand new for 2021 Hot Wheels. So we got the 2020 Jaguar F-Type factory fresh car. This one in a gorgeous looking blue color. Let's go ahead and pop it open and get a nice look at this one. So this one, obviously a very, very glossy blue color. We've got the chrome 10 spoke wheels on there. We look at the front end, you can see the nice detail. I love that whole front look of the Jaguars, the brand new Jaguars that have that kind of hood look. It almost looks uh, somewhat Aston Martin-ish. I mean, they're, oh, they're very similar lines, these cars compared to an Aston Martin, but still just nonetheless, a very, very cool design car. And I really, really like the rear ends of the F-types. They look really, really cool. And there we have it from the top and stuff like that. So this one, very, very nice brand new casting for 2021 for the Hot Wheels lineup. And I really, really like this one. You guys let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this new Jaguar. And next we have another brand new casting. It is the Fig Rig. And this one is from the Track Stars set, car number two of five from that series. Let's go ahead and pop it open and get a look at this one. And this one, obviously it's supposedly made for the track as you can see right here. It's kind of like a pickup truck, but it looks like it's like a race car pickup truck. And you can see kind of the Minecraft type writing on the side of it, which is kind of a neat touch to it. And we can see it from over top right here. Just look at that spoiler in the back. Look at that, how it just kind of comes out right there. I don't know if you, even if you would say that's a spoiler or what, it's some sort of like roll bar or something that it's got connected to it. And we've got the engine sticking out from the front right there. Nice little details and stuff all around. I like the painting on it. The orange wheels with the gray bottom. Check that out, orange wheels and tires. And there we have that opening on the back of this one for this one. A neat little new casting for 2021. And next up, another brand new casting for 2021. This is the Hot Wheels Legends Tour winner car. And if you win the Hot Wheels Legends Tours in the US, then you get your car made into a Hot Wheels. We saw two Jet Z before, and now we've got the Nash. Very, very cool looking one. Hot Wheels Dream Garage. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. It's a very customized uh, Nash car right here. And you can just see, just look at this from over top. Got something that we've never seen before is the way that they've done these wheels. Check this out, they're all the really thin wheels right here, and it's got something that kind of makes it stick out a little bit, so it kind of sits out. Just check that out from the top right there. See how all the tires and wheels combo sticks right out? From the side, you can't really tell, but when you look from the backs and over top, you can see how it sticks out really, really nicely here. Just a very, very different design car, something I've never seen from Hot Wheels before. I've never seen them do something like that. So they definitely put a lot of effort into these uh, winter cars from the Hot Wheels Legends Tour. And this one does not disappoint at all. I absolutely love this car. I think it looks fantastic. I think they've done a really, really good job at designing it. And it's gonna be interesting because for the two Jet C, we saw quite a few different new colors come out for it. So I have a feeling for the Nash, we're gonna get some new colors coming up, possibly this year, maybe next year, but we'll definitely see some recolors of this car in the future. And next up, we've got the Magnus Walker Urban Outlaw Porsche 935. Check this one out. This is from the Hot Wheels Race Day series. Very, very cool looking new Porsche car. Well, actually, this is not technically a new casting. We have seen a casting like this one before several times, but we haven't seen this one in the Urban Outlaw colors, which is really neat. So there we go. We've got all the cool whites with the red and blue. There it is, the Magnus Walker Urban Outlaw just written right on the top right there. We've got the nice Porsche logo just written on the back. It's actually that way right there. So you can see it face that way. Nice, cool looking wide body you can see on this one. So you can see how that wide body kind of comes out, the fenders kind of come out right there. And even on the front, we've got the fenders that kind of flare out right there. So very, very neat looking. I like that blue touch that goes around the front for that front lip. And it even looks like it's got like inserts or something for, for maybe cooling the turbos or something on this car. Big wing on this, of course, as you can see right there. And just check out the slots and all that stuff right on the back. It's a really neat looking casting and it's cool to see it come as an Urban Outlaw Magnus Walker edition. The Batman Batmobile. There it is, and we have it in a brand new color variation. It's kind of a light blue color with some nice colored wheels on there. And I like all these like Batman cars that they come out with. I think it's kind of neat how they come out with them in recolors. So we don't just get the same boring like black or gray. We definitely get these big wild out there colors like this one. You can't get more crazy of a color for a Batmobile than this one right here. And check out all the lines that we see. 
very very neat cool looking lines that they have down there we got the engine that kind of sticks out we've got that cool looking kind of like phantom look of a roof you can see right there and you can see actually that's a really really cool angle right there for that car very very nice check it out from the side i just like these wheels i think these wheels look really really good on this car let me look on the back right there all types of new design and stuff like that for this car very very cool this is a neat looking one i i'm pretty sure this one is a recolor i don't think we've seen i think we have seen this one before the batman batmobile uh, this one or uh, probably we have yeah I think we have all right there we go we'll move on to our next car but let me know in the comment section which one you guys like best so far the Volvo 850 estate is back in the lineup and this one is a nice clean looking red color we have seen this one previously it came originally in a white and then it came in a gray color and now I really like this one this is just like kind of the classic Volvo color like a Volvo red just very, very clean looking, factory fresh. Let's go ahead and pop it open and see what it's all about right here. And there it is, very, very high gloss of a color. It's got those chrome 10 spoke wheels on there. It's like that boxy, boxy Volvo design, but I think it looks really, really cool. I don't know what it is. I grew up with a friend who had a Volvo and I just thought they were just like a fun little car. They were just like so durable and you could just throw them around. You could smack them into anything. You could back them up into a, a wall and they'd still survive. They're very tough little cars in real life. And I mean, the design of them is just so classic. You gotta like these ones. Volvo 850 Estate, nice clean color. I love this car. Pixel Shaker is back with a brand new color. This one is a nice yellow, just all yellow. We've seen uh, several different colors of the Pixel Shaker. We've seen a blue, we've seen a red. I think we've seen one or two other ones as well. But yellow, you guys know, is my favorite color. So I was super excited to see the Pixel Shaker back in a yellow color right here. This one's got blacked out wheels, but the wheels actually have a gold lip around them from the looks of it. Really, really neat. And the wheels are actually like a matte black finish to them. So that's kind of different. I haven't actually seen that exact wheel color combo tire na uh, nation there, but uh, very, very neat. Look at the top of it right there. We've got the uh, kind of all the things that come out here for your exhaust and all that. And then we've got obviously that Minecraft type design. So you can see all the rigid boxiness to it. So it's kind of made, that's exactly what the pixel shaker is. It's kind of made to look like a Minecraft car. The pixel shaker it looks like pixels on there, but really neat. I like it in the new yellow color. We're gonna have to do a comparison with all the previous colors that they've done with this, maybe in a future video. Surf and school bus, here we go. Brand new color of surf and school bus. Check that one out. Wow, crazy looking coloration on there. Surf and School Bus from the Hot Wheels Metro Series. Car number four of 10. Let's go ahead and open it and see what it looks like. Close up right here. Here we go, Surf and School Bus right here. And this one, just check out the lines of that. It looks like waves on there. That's a really, really cool paint job. I really, really like that. I like the detail for that paint job with those waves that they have on the side of it. We've got the engine right there. You can see that very, very chrome on the bottom right there. And you can just check out, just look at how big the engine is. So we've got the engine right there. Got the big engine coming out on the back right there. You can see it on this side as well. And we've got that yellow top on there. Very, very cool looking bus right there. Check it out from the front. It, even, it almost looks like a little Aston Martin logo that it's got kind of meshed into the front of it right there. Cool looking colored wheels on there as well. Just an all around funky looking bus, guys. I like this car. A nice brand new red BMW M3 GT2 from the Hot Wheels Race Day Series, car number four of 10. Really, really cool looking car. Let's go ahead and open this one up and see what it's all about. And I like this one. I like this one. These, it's got these brand new wheels on here. So we've seen, we're seeing these wheels uh, kind of come on a lot more. We saw it actually kind of more on the premium line first. I think the first main line we saw these cars or these wheels on was uh, the Honda City Turbo 2, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was that, that had those type of wheels on there. But now they're blacked out on this car. I mean, to be honest, I don't think they really suit a BMW very well, but the fact that they are blacked out, it doesn't look actually too bad. If they were colored, it definitely wouldn't suit it. But there we go, nice glossy red color on this one. You can see it just shine in my lights. We've got like yellow, black, and white kind of design on the front end. We've got the number three right there. It actually looks like 
the German colors, maybe. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. Maybe it's more of an orangey color than a, uh, an actual yellow. But there we go. We've got that big wing on the back. Just check out that. Just check out that wing. Huge wing on the back of this for this BMW M3 GT2. What do you guys think of this one? I think it's a cool new addition to the 2021 lineup. I'd like to see more recolors of this one as well. 2017 Lamborghini Urus or Urus, however you exactly pronounce it. Factory fresh. We've got a brand new recolor of this one. Obviously, we originally saw this one in yellow, which you can see actually kind of right behind right there. But now we've got this brand new recolor of it. Check this one out. Nice new different wheels on here as well. Um, I'm not a huge fan of these wheels, to be honest. I actually prefer a lot of the other wheels. I think these don't look as clean, but the fact that they look actually like oversized and bigger, it kind of does kind of look like a dub Lamborghini Urus. It kind of looks like a like those big fat wheel tire combination on there. So it doesn't look too bad on this car. Maybe it will look better if it was just completely blacked out with the big size wheels and tires. But the one thing I really like about this casting is just the fantastic detail on the front end of this. I really like all the slots, the way that the uh, headlights and stuff are painted on there, the nice little Lamborghini logo that it's got. Just all the slots you can see, it just looks absolutely awesome. Such a big improvement over the Hot Wheels concept variation of the Lamborghini Urus that we saw uh, several years back. And there we go from the back, just a very, very cool designs car. I really, really like this car. Loving the new color. We're definitely getting another recolor of this one too. We got this one coming up in white as well. So stay tuned for that uh, coming up in a future video. But I'm gonna put this one beside that yellow one, I think, and then we'll display them nicely here. But a really cool addition, new recolor of the Lamborghini Urus. 1989 Porsche 944 Turbo. And this one is now coming in the Urban Outlaw Magnus Walker edition as well. We saw another car like that previously, another Porsche that we saw as well. But this one, very, very cool. I love the silver and blue combination with the gold. This is from the Hot Wheels Turbo Series. We saw this car new last year uh, for the 2020 lineup, and now we're getting some more recolors in it. We saw it in red, and I think we did get one more other recolor of it. I can't remember exactly, but definitely a really, really cool design car. I actually saw one of these in real life driving around the other day and I was just fascinated by it because I'm like, oh my gosh, I have that in a Hot Wheels, the exact one, but now we've got it in my hand right here. So we've got that nice kind of silvery type, maybe gray almost. It's almost like a very light gray, but it's more of a silver. The Urban Outlaw logo on the front right there. The little Porsche logo right there as well. And then just a very, very cool design, cool color for this one. Gold wheels on there. I like that. That looks really, really good. It's a nice touch to the car. Not much tampa work and stuff is like that on the back. It would have been nice to see maybe some more paint and stuff like that, but they've spent all their time and effort into painting the side with that 944, the blue and all that stuff, and then the color on the hood as well. But I think it's a great looking casting, nice addition to get a new recolor of it, especially in a Magnus Walker Urban Outlaw edition. Corvette Grand Sport Roadster. This is a 1960s car, as you can see. It's I think it's probably like a mid to late 60s Corvette. Uh, I'm not sure the exact model here, Hot Wheels Race Day series. And then the kind of cool thing that you see, if you look at this, you can see the little guy that's in there. And that's a neat touch because it's actually not in there. So that's definitely a little bit of a disappointment. It would have been cool if they actually put a guy in there. We've seen um, them do the Tesla with the little uh, space guy in there. So it would be nice to see that in there, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. Uh, really cool color to this one. I'm liking this new color right here that they've got. It's kind of like a, uh, like a very sparkly, almost spectra flame blue, almost, but not quite. And a, a kind of like a tealish light blue color mixed in there nicely. We've got the uh, red stripe down the middle and it's highlighted in white. And we've got a, other, a lot of other white touches to the car. You can see on the side, the white, you can see right here, we've got the white right there as well. We've got that little white dot right there and the white dot kind of meshes on the front as well. Blacked out wheels on there. Uh, really, really cool looking car. I mean, check it out. Even from the back, you can see that. Just That's a, definitely a Corvette from back there. We've got that roll bar that kind of comes in and then that little piece that comes up there where the guy sits right there. So very, very neat looking car. Very, very cool. I would probably estimate this is uh, probably 67, 68 or 69 Corvette in real life. They don't actually specify the model year, but definitely a cool looking Corvette race car. Twin mill, brand new recolor. You gotta love the twin mill. The twin mill is just such a cool looking casting. This one is from the Hot Wheels Dream Garage series, car number three of five. And you can see the 
yellow and blue. I think it's yeah, it's kind of a yellowish blue color that we've got on there. Let's go ahead and pop it open right there. And we can see this one nice and close up. Uh, I think the wheels, entire combination on this look fantastic. I like these wheels for this car. They're a futuristic looking wheel. And this twin mill definitely looks a little bit futuristic. Even though the twin mill has been around for a long time, it just still looks like a futuristic car, doesn't it? Doesn't it? It looks really, really neat. And there we go. Obviously twin mill, meaning we've got a dual engine on there, which is really, really cool. They're all chromed out. We've got the exhaust coming out the side of that one. And then our exhaust coming out the side of this one as well. And then just some neat touches as far as the paint and stuff like that goes on this one. I like the twin mill. I like getting all the new color variations of this one. So this is definitely going into my collection. I was super excited when I saw this car announced online and now we have it in hand. It's the Lancia Delta Integrale. I'm not sure if I said that exactly right, but uh, it's a really, really cool looking off-road car. This is from the Baja Blazer series, car number six of 10. It says it's the Track Stars car. So we'll have to try it out on the track eventually, but let's go ahead and open this one up, all white. And then it's got the uh, racing decals on the side of it. And then the white, I don't know. I just love this white on white combination. I think it looks really cool. There we've got the a nice Michelin guy on there, the number five on there, uh, the Bilstein shocks, the Hot Wheels logo, all different types of sponsors and stuff like that on there. We've got nothing much as far as the back goes. They've saved all the stamping for the uh, sides of the car, as you can see right there. So not much a light tampa work as far as the back goes, but the front, check that out. Great looking from the front, excellent detail from the front. So definitely they've spent a lot of time. Even we've got, I mean, you look at the headlights that are stamped, even we've got the little marker lights, the amber marker lights right there and the fog lights that are stamped. So excellent, excellent detail. They've spent a lot of work on the front and the sides of the car. Again, they've missed out the back, but you know what? I'm willing to accept that just because you look at it from that angle, it's a fantastic looking car. Very, very cool. I'm super excited to finally get this one into the collection. Lethal Diesel, a brand new casting for 2021. Track Stars, car number three of five. And I don't know what to think about this one. This is just a, just, I mean, you just look at it from there. It's kind of a scary looking car. I have to say, it almost looks like it's got like eyes and stuff that are sticking out right there. Let's go see and if that meshes into the car itself. Let's go ahead right to the front and we can see this one right away. So the eyes, uh, no, a little bit disappointing. No paint work or anything like that for the front end. So it's definitely a lot different looking from what it shows on the card. We'll actually bring the card back right here so you can see, so you can see the kind of eyes and the scary look to it. And then does it mesh in? No. So a little bit disappointing that they didn't actually put that into the car itself, but it's kind of like a matte, like a red, matte red, almost brownish green. I don't know how to say this color. It's kind of a weird looking color. Uh, but I mean, nonetheless, what do I think about this car in general? I don't know. You guys know me, slightly disappointing on this car. I feel like they missed the touch on there. They could have put the painted headlights on the front of it, but they didn't, they, paint, they put the paint on the side of it, which I mean, really don't really care about that. Kind of cool looking from the top. It's even got the track that's kind of meshed in there. You can see the Hot Wheels track that it's got going on and stuff like that, but still. Overall, not the greatest looking car. It's kind of like a squashed Hummer. It looks like a Hummer got like squashed and they made it into a Hot Wheels car, right? That's kind of what it looks like. Subaru WRX STI. There we go. Hot Wheels Speed Graphics, brand new yellow color. And if you didn't know this was an STI, all you have to do is look on the side with the giant STI on the side of it. All right, let's go ahead and pop this one open from the Hot Wheels Speed Graphics series. And there we go. There's that yellow STI that you see. Subaru, little Subaru logo. Nice chrome wheels on there as well. And their STI logo on the front end as well, in case you forgot that it was an STI. Not much detail as far as the front end goes. A little bit disappointing that there's no painted headlights or fog lights or anything like that. They're just kind of meshed right in there. We've got that black stripe that's off-centered, kind of highlighted in red just to go with the STI logo. From the back end, not much detail as far as the back end goes. Uh, looks like we've got just like a painted area, or this is actually where the car goes together. So that's kind of why we've got that license plate area where the car sticks together. But nonetheless, Subaru WRX STI, still a cool looking car. Uh, maybe it would be cool in a different color. I don't know. As much as I like yellow, I feel like the Subarus look better with their blue and gold wheels. So I'd like to see that one come in blue with the gold wheels, possibly in the future. 
love it or hate it diora 3 is in a brand new color variation this one in black with a red insert on it i think this one looks really really cool from the hot wheels getaway series let's go ahead and pop this one open and see what it's all about it looks like it's got some new stuff inside of it we're just going to look inside of the car so we can see exactly what it looks like and i have to say it definitely feels a little bit heavier. Maybe, I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I think it feels a little bit heavier than the previous variations. So we'll have to see, but definitely very, very cool inside. Look at those seats that we've got in here, the little cockpit and stuff like that. And then of course we've got that bicycle in the back that's kind of inserted into there. These nice looking wheels, very futuristic. I think it kind of goes with the Dior 3. We've got that nice diffuser right there, all red on the bottom. We've got the gray wheels on this one. Very, very glossy black look to the Dior 3. I mean, it's kind of a love or hate it car. A lot of people didn't really like or appreciate kind of the openness of Dior 3 but it's not too bad. It's like the convertible version. Maybe DR4 will be slightly different. And you can see that little surfboard in there. It looks like a double surfboard that they've got in there as well. But DR3, let me know what you guys think about this one. Ford GT40 Gumball 3000 edition. I was super excited to find this car here. Then and now series, there you have it. Car number one of 10. So then and now meaning that we'll have a new Ford GT uh, with the same kind of color variation of this one. So let's go ahead and pop open the gumball 3000 for gt40 obviously the gumball 3000 race uh wasn't around back in the 1960s late 1960s when this car was originally made but who knows maybe someone did actually race a gt40 in a gumball 3000 i mean this car in real life is worth millions and millions of dollars so i don't know if you'd put a car like that through a big race like that but there we go you can see that engine that shows through the gumball 3000 logo that's written right on the front nice tamp work for those lights right there I like these wheels. Um, they're kind of like, I haven't actually seen a black wheel, but they're actually outlined in gray. So that's something that I haven't seen before, which is kind of different. So there you go, you can see that right there. Uh, classic GT40 rear ends. I mean, this car, is, it's nice, it's nice. It's done nicely. This casting has been around for a long time and we've seen many different recolors of it, but definitely a really, really cool car. I absolutely love the Ford GT40. A new for 2021 casting. This one is called the Head Gasket. Check that one out. Hot Wheels Daredevil series. And we can see the engine with just like a helmet. Uh, so that's an interesting new car. All right, let's go ahead and pop it open here and see what this one's all about. A nice new fantasy car right there. Giant wheels on the rear, giant, giant wheels and tiny, tiny wheels on there. So this is like a tuned out car, uh, but I really like this. I like that, that helmet look on there. Uh, this is really, really cool. I feel like they're going to come up with a lot of different recolors of this one because you could put like so much cool stuff on that helmet that they have right there, the head gasket so it's <laughs> kind of a nice touch to it and we can see the nice big engine that's ex exposed there in chrome uh but that big spoiler just check that out there we go so it's a, it's a cool new casting i like it i like these cool new fantasy castings that they come out with they're always interesting we had quite a few uh interesting fantasy castings last year like the duck and roll that came out so this is a new one the head gasket we'll definitely get some recolors of this one this year and car number 20, the last car that we'll open up today, is a brand new recolor of the 2020 Jeep Gladiator, the Baja Blazers series. And this one is kind of like a like a desert look to it. This is like the proper color that you would want uh, a car like this if you're going off-roading. It's kind of got this like matte tan finish to it, as you can see right there, and very, very cool looking. This casting, I was just super excited when it came out. Originally it came out, I believe it was in red, and we've gotten several different recolors of it. And now we've got this nice like kind of tan army look color to it. There's those motorbikes in the back, dirt bikes in the back, of course, and it looks all jacked up and raised up of a car. That suspension definitely doesn't look stock or the wheels and tire combination don't look stock. It's just a very, very cool car all around. Obviously we've got that rear end that's kind of open like that. The front end, just a nice looking grill, the classic Jeep grill for this 2020 Jeep Gladiator. I'm a fan of it. I'd like to see more colors of this one coming out in the future. And we'll start it off with the brand Brand new recolor of the 1991 GMC Cyclone pickup truck. We did see this one previously released in black, then red, and now we've got this brand new blue and silver color kind of mixed in. Let's go ahead and pop it open right here. And I'm a really big fan of this car. I really think it looks super, super cool. I love that flat 
flatbed on there, as well as the uh, coloring on here. The wheels, I think, look absolutely fantastic for it. Really, really cool from the front end, although not much as far as Tampa work goes, but we do have the little GMC logo that's kind of edged right into there. If we look in the back, we do have the lights that are highlighted right there, as well as the Cyclone logo GMC on the back as well. Really, really cool. And these wheels, I think, are just absolutely perfect for this GMC Cyclone. And next up, we have the Astana Hoto from the Fast and Furious Spy Racers Netflix series. Really cool looking car. It's kind of a mixture between like uh, some, maybe like a 350Z and a Dodge Viper of some sort, something like that. Almost looks also kind of Datsun-ish as well. Very, very cool. I like the design of it, although it has a very big wing on there, which looks kind of sporty and weird. I don't know, kind of looks a little bit off center, but it's all right. We've got the mesh gold wheels on there. These weird headlights on the front of it, a nice tamp stamping and stuff like that as well. And on the back end, we got that diffuser underneath and it's all gray on the bottom. I think it's a really cool looking car. I haven't seen this Fast and Furious Spy Racers show, but I think it would be pretty neat to see this one in action. And next up, we have a brand new casting. It is the 06 Pontiac GTO. And this one looks like it's all like dragstered out of some sort. It's in this nice looking burnt orange color. Let's go ahead and pop it open. This is from the Factory Fresh series. And there we go. These wheels, in my opinion, kind of ugly, but nonetheless, I guess they kind of fit this like mid 2000s era car there's that wheelie bar on the back of it right there that's what that is right there it's even got the parachute on the back no tampa work or anything on the rear end right there we've got some sort of like writing and striping right on the side right there and then on the front end i think that's great detail for the front end i think that looks really cool i love the scoops right there the headlights uh the, the little grill that's kind of painted that pontiac classic grill but there it is the 2006 pontiac gto drag racing car and next up another brand new casting this one's really interesting it's called they see me rolling or not they it's just see me rolling but there it is right there very very interesting let's go ahead and open this one up it's from the experimotor series i'm gonna show you what this one's all about but check it out all right looks like a normal wheel tire combination looks like a normal wheel tire combination although it is a funky design but then you flip it over boom check out that from underneath it's got like a single like a roller type piece right there very, very weird, very interesting. Even if you look on the top, they see me rolling. So you can see that, how it rolls right through. And the cool thing about this one is why they call it see me rolling is because if you look down there, this is actually a dice. So you can see all the numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, all there. So you can actually use this as a dice. So if you say roll it down here and then you pick it up and you can see, oh, we got number six right there. All right, very, very cool. So you can have it, see me rolling, use it as a dice, and if you have a game or some sort and you need to use a dice, it's a really, really cool dice to use. But there we go, see me rolling, very interesting new casting from Hot Wheels. Local Motrin from the X Racers series, and you can see this one, very, very interesting. This is a new casting for 2021, but you can see now they've got it in this X-ray look, and this is the Thomas the Train, so, the other one that came out has like the little Thomas the Train face on there, but this one, it's just all silvered out just like that. So let's go ahead and pop it open, get a close up look. I mean, it's really cool that you can see through the details on this casting right there. So it's all chrome on the inside and you can just see right through it. Isn't that crazy? Very, very cool, very unique touch this one. And I mean, it's just all chrome on the front end, no face or anything like that, but just check that out. I'd love to see these X racers come out in license casting. So I mean, it'd be cool to see like a McLaren or a Lamborghini or something like that that comes out in an X racers series. What do you guys think? Comment down below, let me know. And we've got a brand new recolor of the 2019 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss LT. It's in this like camel like color from it. This is from the Baja Blazers series which I really really like I'll tell you why in a second I've said it before on previous videos but I absolutely love this series because if we look at it very cool looking truck nonetheless but look at the tires it's got like all mud and stuff like that all on the tires so it's a very very cool that they're coming out with the Blaha Baja Blazers series that has those like mud look on there. But this truck nonetheless, really, really cool. Liking the camo on the side. It's a matte finish paint job on there. Chevrolet written on the back right there into the casting itself. Number 19 for 2019. We got the sunroof on the top. We got the black bed in there. And if we look on the front, you can see it's got some sort of writing. I'm not sure exactly what that means on the front right there, but 
Very, very cool. I was super excited when this casting first came out and I'm loving all the new recolors of it. It just looks like a big monsterish truck. 95 Mazda RX-7. This is the mainline variation. There is a Super Treasure Hunt variation of this one, but we've got this one from the Factory Fresh series. And this is just a, a, it's a straight up clean looking RX-7. And I'll tell you why in a second. I mean, it's just a very, very nice looking glossy black paint job and these wheels look absolutely fantastic you know how much i love these wheels we got the tan interior on there which is kind of interesting i mean it gives a little bit of contrast so it's not just completely blacked out but a very very cool looking casting really really like this one we got the mazda logo just right there in the front we've got the pop-up headlights so you don't actually see any headlights but we got the little uh, stripe markers right there i guess those are like the little uh, lights in the front as well and then on the back we've got the lights the tampos for them we got the little hot wheels logo the mazda logo right there little rx7 logo as well but just an all-around clean looking mazda rx7 let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this one clip rod from the experiment motors series we've got a new color variation of this one something a little bit unique about this one which they're kind of give you a hint on what you use this for let's go ahead and pop it open and i will show you guys here here we go so we've got this clip rod so if you guys are familiar with clip rod it's essentially it's a clip but they call it clip rod so what exactly is it for well i mean it's got a dollar sign right there so pretty obvious that this is just a little money clip so you can actually put your real money in there and use this as a money clip so i mean if you're a big hot wheels collector and you go to shows or something like that wouldn't it be cool to use a clip rod as your little money holder i think that's really really cool i like this casting nice to see new colors coming out of this one it's just something unique something like useful for a casting i think it's really really cool guys what do you guys think and one of the highlight cars for the video, the 2021 Ford Bronco from the then and now series. So we are gonna get a then variation of a Bronco at some point this year, but let's go ahead and pop open this brand new casting. I'm loving the new Bronco. I'm glad that Ford is bringing it back. And there we go. We've got this really, really cool looking blue color for it. Bronco written on the front end right there and Bronco written on the side of it. And then we've got the little spare tire wheel combination on the back. Again, I just love this blue color. I think it looks great. And it looks like it's like raised up and it's got the big mutters on there. Just a great looking casting all around. And then you know what? I do want to see a recolor of this. And can you guess which recolor I want to see of the Ford Bronco? I'll give you a second to think about it. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, okay. I do want to see a white one, guys. I know, I know. You know why the OJ Bronco. It'd be cool to see a new generation of the OJ Bronco in white from Hot Wheels. Another very useful casting besides just being a collectible Hot Wheels car, we've got the Experimotor Motors Speed Driver. And this one, it's got a wrench on it. So you can actually use this one as a real life wrench. And we've got this new color variation of it. So there it is, metal wrench. So if you're looking for a wrench and you need to uh, tighten something or loosen something, you can actually take this Hot Wheels car and you can use it to as a tool, as an actual tool. So very, very cool. I kind of like this casting. I mean, I like these like useful castings that you can actually use them as like like the money clip one or or a tool of some sort, or there's the, the can opener one that they have. Uh, very, very cool. But what do you guys think of the new speed driver color? And you guys saw it in the thumbnail. That's right. It's the 2020 Koenigsegg Jesco from the HW Torque Hot Wheels Torque Series brand new casting for this year we absolutely love it we saw it first in silver now we've got the gray variation let's go ahead and pop open this one right here and take a look at the new color of the Koenigsegg Jesco. What do you guys think? It's a dark gray color as opposed to the silver color they released before. And I'm liking the new colors that they're coming out with. I kind of want to see this one uh, maybe in a white or a black would look really cool or maybe even like a nice blue. But nonetheless, this gray color looks good. I really like the touch of color that they have right down there. And I just love the windows, the dark kind of like tinted dark windows. And then the back window that's kind of tinted down there. And then great looking big spoiler the big rear center exhaust on there just an all-around great looking casting i'm super happy to see Koenigsegg back in some new castings for hot wheels hopefully we see some more again in the future another brand new and interesting casting it is the mars perseverance 
rover. Very, very cool from the HW Space Series. It's a six by six. I've been waiting to open this one up. So let's go ahead and pop it open right here and check this one out. I love the six wheel entire combination on there. And it's got like this little thing, which I think would be like maybe the camera of some sort. I'm not sure exactly. I don't really know a lot about this one in real life, but it's just super cool to see a Mars Rover type of vehicle come to the Hot Wheels lineup. And check that out at the bottom. Check how that's all done. It's got like an extra racers type of bottom on there and then it's got the six wheel tire combination that kind of stick out on it and then from the rear end it's got all these weird contraptions and stuff built into it if you guys know a lot about this one in real life you could probably tell me what all these different things are if you guys are knowledgeable about that let me know in the comment section down below but again just a super super cool casting to see come to the hot wheels lineup what do you guys think about this one surfs up is back we got a new color of it this one was popular for the olympic series that they did last year and we've got the hw daredevils and check it out it's the number 68 or is it 89 68 89 something like that on the actual board and it actually matches right on the board for this guy himself let's go ahead and pop it open and i will show you this casting if you've never seen this casting you've never got a hold of it it's very very cool and i just love how they're doing these unique and interesting different castings to the hot wheels lineup and check it out it's a guy surfing and then this all right here is supposed to be like water like he's splashing through the water itself and you can actually take him off I think yeah you can just pop him right off right there uh, the board itself doesn't come off it's all just stuck right onto there but you can see the guy that's just surfing away and if we have a look at the actual board itself there it is cool color I like that color combination right there very very interesting unique casting guys I, I love it I love surfs up I think it's just something crazy to add to the Hot Wheels lineup and what do you even call it I guess it would be a fantasy casting it's not a licensed real casting or anything but it's just a guy surfing Surfing, and then they made it into Hot Wheels. Isn't that awesome? And it's time for our special bonus matchbox casting. Do you guys know what it's gonna be? Boom, there it is, the brand new Corvette C8, the 2020 Corvette C8. And I found this one in the stores and you know what? I wanted to open it up on video. Didn't really have any specific video to put it into. So why not mix it into this one? It's a crazy cool looking casting matchbox edition. Here we go, let's go open up the C8. We are getting a C8 into the Hot Wheels lineup, but it is the C8R, the race car variation. This is just your stock road car variation. And I love this color. It's kind of like an aqua blue blue color and just check it out check out the details from the front end right there look at that I love the lights on it and if we look from the side it's just so sporty looking these wheels look fantastic on it it's like a titanium kind of almost bronzish type wheel on there from the rear end great detail and all of that for that one right there and on the top I just love all the kind of angles and stuff of the Corvette C8 and you know what the Corvette C8 before I saw one in person I didn't think it was like super 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 cool. I thought it was neat looking, but when I saw this one in person, I actually just saw one again yesterday. Such a cool looking car in real life. It's just, it's better looking in person than it is in these little castings and models and stuff like that. So if you have not got an opportunity to see one, you have to see one. Such a cool looking car. What do you guys think of the Matchbox Corvette C8? Jaguar XESV Project 8, brand new color variation. We've got this glossy red color from the HW Torque series. Let's go ahead and pop it open and see what this one's all about. Here we go. I love red. I think it looks great on sporty cars. And you can see the Jaguar. It looks absolutely fantastic. Great looking front end. Great tampa work for the headlights. The little Jaguar logo on the front end right there. The wheels that are all blacked out. I like that. That looks good because I'm not a really big fan of these wheels when they have that like the painting of chrome or silver or something like that on the front end right there on the top of it. It's just great when they're all blacked out. You can see from the rear end, good stamping, tampa work and all that. We've got the imitation carbon fiber roof on this one as well and a really cool looking spoiler what do you guys think of that big spoiler on this one jaguar oh i love it love the jaguars love seeing all the new color combinations of them fast bed hauler brand new recolor like in this car it's like a tow truck of some sort i guess it is supposed to be that tow truck it's kind of a classic looking design and maybe it's from like the 1930s or so it's supposed to be but you can see right here it just looks like an old school tow truck very very cool all chrome all bodied all around the side right here and then it's got this kind of like aquaish maybe like greenish bluish color right there as well look at the chrome pipes that come up there as well the nice flatbed and let's see let's see if it works let's grab 
the Bronco. Let's grab the new Bronco. Oh, the Bronco. Nope, the Bronco's too big. We gotta grab something else. How about we grab the RX-7? Ooh, the RX-7 is actually kind of too big as well. We need something like super small. How about the the Roland one? The Simi Roland here. How about that? There we go. That one works really well. Look at that. Oh, awesome. Love the flatbed pickup truck, tow truck thing. Loopster from Xperia Motors. And this is supposed to be a roller coaster. And then one thing that you'll know, if you actually have a lot of these Loopster cars, you can actually pair them all together. So if you see on the back, it's got this little hook right there and all the other ones have the hook right on the front end. So if you have multiples of the Loopster, you can put them together and you can roll them all along together, but this is a brand new recolor of it. It's pink with like some blue trim and yellow tire wheel combination on there. And if you look in the back, you can see one of the guides right there has his arms up. Isn't that cool? It's a neat little touch. All the other ones are just kind of like scared and maybe they're throwing up or barfing or something like that. Whereas that one guy is just having so much fun in the Loopster. 2017 Lamborghini Urus. And I know I have opened up one of these before, but this was included in our recent case. So why not open up another one? It's such a cool looking casting. We gotta open it up and see what it's all about here. Check out this color. We saw it originally in yellow. Now we've got this blue color and check out these wheels. And this is the wheels that I was saying that I'm not a huge fan of when they put the, the silver on there. I would have liked to see these all completely blacked out. I mean, you could technically just take a Sharpie on these and just black them out yourself if you really wanted to. Love the detail on the front end of this. Like I said, the Urus is just a great looking casting. Super excited to see it into the Hot Wheels lineup. Check out all the detail on the back end right there. The license plate, the Lamborghini logo on there. Just an all around great look. And we are gonna be getting a white one of these pretty soon and probably we're gonna get some more recolors of it in the future. So stay tuned for those. But what do you guys think of the Lamborghini Urus? 1985 Honda CRX. There it is, a new color variation of this from the HW Speed Graphics Series. Turbo written on the side. And this is a very like Japanese look or design or color variation. We've seen lots of different JDM type cars come out with this white, uh, red and blue combination. And I think it looks pretty cool. I think it just totally does look Japanese. I mean, a lot of you guys would say maybe it's kind of American-ish because it's red, white, and blue, but just the way that they have the, the white highlighted with just a splash of the red and blue on there, it looks pretty cool. You can see even on the back, it's got a little bit of a red trim on there. And just check out the front end, that little like cowl indentation right there as well. Pretty cool looking. Pop-up headlights on this, so nothing painted on the front end or anything like that. And we've got these like nice mesh wheels tire combination right there. I think it's a pretty cool looking car. The CRXs, I mean, they always thought they're, they're kind of funny looking because it looks like the back end's been like chopped off. But this one right here, it actually looks pretty decent because of the spoiler. So you don't really see that chop off look on the CRX. And last but definitely not least, we've got the Volkswagen Beetle. And this one is Love 2021 from the Holiday Racer Series. So of course, because it's Valentine's Day this weekend, we've got the Valentine's Day edition of the Volkswagen Beetle. Let's go ahead and pop it open and see what this one's all about right here. And there it is, all different types of design and stuff on the side of it. Uh, very kind of retro looking wheel tire combination that are painted right there. And the Volkswagen Beetle is just a very, very classic car. And this is just a great looking casting variation of it. I think it looks fantastic. We've seen a lot of different like tuned out variations and like small variations of the Volkswagen Beetle, but this is just a stock looking Volkswagen Beetle and it's a great look, fantastic job. I mean, I would say it's maybe a little bit bigger proportionate to what the real life one would be. It looks like it's maybe uh, a slightly like one in 62 scale of some sort because it's a little bit bigger than the other ones. But nonetheless, I'm not disappointed. I think it looks great. What do you guys think of this Valentine's Day edition of the Volkswagen Cars. Beetle? We first have the Toyota AE86 Sprinter Truno. And I apologize, I called this an Advan car in my unboxing video and it's actually Falcon sponsored, if I could just read properly right there on the front and even on the artwork on there, it says Falcon. So I apologize for that, but let's go ahead and open this one up to start off our 2021 cars here and get a nice look at this one. This one's in a very, very cool looking blue color, Falcon colors, of course. And we've got the little pop-up headlights on the front end there. Nice looking tampa work 
all around cool logos and all that all on the front end a nice looking artwork and stuff on the side of it on the back we don't have a lot of stamping or anything like that it's mainly focused for the stamping on the side and on the top but all around a great start to 2021 i really really like this car next we have a recolor of rv there yet from the hot wheels getaways series car number two of five let's go ahead and open this one up and the unique thing about this one is it does almost look like it's got like a zamac finish to the rear end of it it's all zamac all back here and then it's got the yellow front end so kind of interesting i, I would have thought that they maybe would release this in the Zamax series possibly like this, but I guess they wanted to release it just like this one right here with the rear Zamax, the front as like a plastic and in yellow. But all around, I've really, really liked the RV there yet. I think it's a neat little casting. It's definitely a fantasy casting, something different that they haven't released before. And obviously these wheels in the middle, you can see right here, they are fake. They don't actually roll in the middle. They've only got the four wheels and tires as you can see right there. So RV there yet new color variation. Next up is the Toyota off-road truck from the Baja Blazers series. This one's in orange. Nice looking color and paint job for it. Just in time for Halloween, let's go ahead and pop this one open and get a look at all the close-up details on it. Got the number 55 on the side and we got some graphics on the back end as well. Some sort of stamping of of maybe sponsorships of some sort. I recognize the Hot Wheels logo. I don't recognize the other ones right there. We got the Holly carburetor right on the side of it as well. And then we got the big push bar on the front. Very nice, looks pretty cool. It's got the roll bars and all that stuff on the inside of it. We got the spare tire just on the back of it. It's an all around neat looking truck. I've seen this one in many different color variations. Nice to get a new one in the orange though. And next up we have the Hot Wheels Warp Speeder. Here is Warp Speeder, and this one is from the Hot Wheels Glow Racers series. So apparently it glows in the dark. Should we test it out? I think it's time that we do test out one of these cars. So let's go ahead and pop it open first and get a look at the Hot Wheels Warp Speeder first, and then we'll test it out and see if it actually glows in the dark. So here we go, Warp Speeder, got the three, the glow just on the side of it, and it's an interesting color. And we saw this one as a new casting last year, and this is now the third colored variation of the Hot Wheels Warp Speeder. It's an interesting casting, I mean, it's not my favorite. I, I would have liked to see some other different glowing cars, maybe in a licensed format, but nonetheless, still pretty cool. All right, guys, let's go ahead and test it out. We're gonna switch the lights off right now. And there you have it, it does glow, but it's very, very faint, very hard to see. I feel if we maybe charge this up a little bit, we would be able to see it better. It, it looks a lot better in real life than it does in camera, but still nonetheless, it's not a super strong glow on it. We'll have to let it sit in the light a lot longer before it grows a lot more. The lights back on, there we go. We're gonna charge it up a lot more and I'll test it out again later on. But there you go, Hot Wheels Warp Speeder. Let me know what you guys think of these new glow in the dark series cars from Hot Wheels for the 2021 series. A brand new casting for 2021 for the Star Wars edition. It is the X34 Land Speeder from Hot Wheels Screen Time. And that's definitely an interesting one. I'm not a huge Star Wars person, so you guys might be able to give me some more information on what it did in the movies, but let's go ahead and pop it open and see what it's all about here. Here we go, wow, it's a lot flatter than I seem to have thought it was. So it's kind of got like some good aerodynamics. You can see how flat it is. It's got the wheels and tires all integrated just onto the bottom right there. It says land speeder on there. And then from the top, we can see it kind of looks like a boat. I don't know, is it a boat? And it, I think it's like a boat that maybe flies. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like a speedboat of some sort. And it's got like these kind of like jet engine type things on the rear end. And we can see that kind of curved windshield right there, which you can see the interior on there. And it's got the right hand drive on there. An interesting casting. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know what to think about the, the Star Wars series cars that they're coming out with. I guess a lot of Star Wars fans will love these, but for me personally, not really my thing, but nonetheless, it's cool to add to the collection. Next up is the 52 Chevy. We've got a new color variation of this one. Let's go ahead and open it and see what it's all like on the side right here. We'll throw the packaging down right there. And this one says 
Mighty Max Garage on the side of it. It's an interesting color to it. It's kind of got like a rustic design to it. So it's meant to look somewhat old. You can see right there the paint job on the top. It supposedly looks all rustic, which is really cool. It's really neat for an era car like this one. We've got a chrome base on there and tinted windows all around. Just a, it's a neat little truck. Um, personally, not really my thing, but nonetheless, it's a neat little one to collect. Tankinator is up next. A new color variation of Tankinator from the Experimotor series. Let's go see what Tankinator is all about right here. We've got the new color variation of him. Colored wheel lip on there, all blacked out though on the base and the bottom and everything like that. And then we've got this piece right up here, which you know does move all the way around as Tankinator does. And it's uh, like kind of like a pearly white color that we have on the top, it says Tankinator on the side with the 21 right there. It's a really cool looking fantasy cat. Casting. This would be scary to see coming down at you in real life. Another brand new casting for 2021. It's the Fast and Furious Spy Racers series Hyper Fin. And this looks like kind of a cross between like an F1 car and a hyper car. So let's go ahead and pop this one open and get a look at this one. And wow, like looks aerodynamic look at the design on the front end it does it, it's definitely a cross between an f1 and a hypercar the, the the back end is all like f1 like even the front end it's got kind of like the f1 look to it but then it's got from the side and the front right there it does look like it's more of a hypercar a very very cool design though all fully exposed tires on the back of it and on the bottom we've got a black gloss base on there but i don't know what to think about this one i think it's pretty neat this fast and furious spy racer series come out with a quite a few different unique looking cars and i look forward to seeing more of them i think they're pretty neat 2010 chevy impala and this is a hot wheels race team edition it's white with the number four on the side of it from the Hot Wheels Race Team Series. Let's go ahead and pop that one open and get a look at it. It's got gray wheels on there, lots of different logos and stuff on the side of it, the number four on the side as well as the top. And we've got the Hot Wheels Racing on the front with BF Goodrich, not much detail for Tampa Worker, anything like that on the front end or the rear end, but I think that's kind of NASCAR like, so it kind of does have that. Nice little blue tinted windows on the interior. It's an all around clean looking, good looking car from Hot Wheels. Nissan 300 ZX Twin Turbo, new color variation. This is the mainline variation, but it does come as a super treasure hunt. Unfortunately, I didn't get the super treasure hunt in my case, but this mainline looks fantastic. I really, really have loved this casting since it came out. Originally, it came out in a white and then a red, and now we've got this color of it, which looks great. This is probably my favorite one so far. Love the look of those wheels. Love the back end of it. Great looking tampa work in all of that same with the front end right there we've got the integrated lights which are built into the underneath plastic and they're not stamped on there just a great great looking car all around love the t-top look on the top of it as well nissan 300 zx if you guys are a fan let me know in the comments section down below and probably one of the coolest new castings released for the recent 2021 releases it's the barbie dream camper from the hot wheels getaway series and you can see Barbie and her friend just driving right on there. And there's the big Barbie logo right there. Just such a cool, cool car. Let's go ahead and open this one up and I'll show you one unique thing that this one does. And I'll admit, I've already opened one of these up because when my daughter saw this, she wanted to have one right away. So I opened one up and one thing unique is this little pop piece right here it just pops kind of just open just like that. So it opens up and then you can see right through the camper right there. You can see all the different details and stuff on there. It looks like it's got like a sink and a table and some couches and stuff. And then on the front end, it's like a big open exposed front end. So no windshield or anything like that or no windows that are actually built into it. Just an all around really, really cool, neat, big casting. The big Barbie logo right on the side right there the front end we can see the tampa work for the headlights and all of that and on the rear end it just got the ladder and the tires no tampa work or anything like that but such such a cool new casting i'm super excited to this this is going to look really good next to the 
Barbie Corvettes that they came out with recently. So we're gonna have to do probably a side-by-side -side of those later on. But this one, I'm just, I don't know. I just really, really like the Barbie cars that they come out with with Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels Ford Transit Connect, new color variation of this one from the Hot Wheels Metro series. Let's go ahead and open this one up and get a look at it here. Here we go, we've got it open right there. And this one's got a, a pep, what is it? Pep Boys or Pep? Peepop or something like that on the side. Peppop and Sons. I'm not sure exactly. If you guys know exactly what it was, I saw. I thought it said Popeye initially, but I don't think that's what it says. Uh, pest Control. There we go. So it does say Pest Control on there. So it's something in Sons. I think it's probably named after something real life. I'm not too sure. If you guys know, comment down below and let me know what you think about that and that logo and all that. Nice looking colored chrome lip wheels on there. Chrome all on the front end as well. And it's a chrome base on the Ford Transit Connect. And we've seen many color variations of this one. I think it's a pretty neat looking casting. You guys let me know what you think though. Road Bandit, and we've got a new color variation of the Road Bandit from the Hot Wheels Art Cars. I know lots of my fans from the Philippines have let me know that it's a local vehicle from there, which is super, super cool. And now we've got our third color variation of Road Bandit. So let's go ahead and open it up here from the Art Cars, this one. So it's obviously gonna have Lots of different unique colors on there. You can see the different colored tires on the rear than they are to the front end and all different types of colors and stuff. And then we've got the, the Hot Wheels logo with the heart right there, which is really, really neat. And all just different colors all around on the side of it. And on the bottom, the big flashy yellow on there. And we can see from the front, we've got the combination of the yellow and the red. And then uh, what is this kind of like a magenta color of some sort, almost gray. It's hard to say exactly what that is, but just an all around neat casting. I was just super excited when this originally came out last year. And it's nice to get all these new color variations of it but super, super nice. 1996 Porsche Carrera from the Hot Wheels Dream Garage series. Let's go ahead and open up this new colored variation of it. And I originally thought this was a little bit plain looking, but actually the striping and stuff on the bottom does look actually kind of cool. And I like that little circle thing right there. It's a nice touch to it. We saw previous uh, color variations come out in this one and it looked uh, somewhat plain and it's still somewhat plain as far as the tampa works on the hood and stuff goes we don't get much as far as stamping or anything uh, for the headlights on there and on the rear end not a lot just a little bit of painting just right on the top engine cover and the little carrera logo right there but still all around when this car came out originally i was a super big fan of it and you know what i think this one still does look pretty good and i'd like to see more variety of color variations come out for this one again 1964 Corvette Stingray, new color variation from the Hot Wheels Race Day series. And this is in a nice glossy red color. Let's go ahead and open this one up and see what it's all about. And as you can see, it's a very, very shiny red color. And we've got these circle white highlights on there. So I guess that would be for the number of the car if it were to go racing for it. And you can see the back window of it. It's the full back window. It's not the split one as the 1963 Corvette was the only one with the split window on there, which I'm a big fan of. But nonetheless, this one does look really, really, really nice. I do like this one. Like Nice looking uh, vent covers and stuff like that that is all etched into the hood right there. Just an all around decent looking Corvette car. I mean, I'd probably like to see a different color variation of this one come out. I'm not a big fan of this particular series in red of Corvettes. I like the newer Corvettes in reds, but these older ones look probably better in like a blue or a darker color or even a silver color. But nonetheless, I'm sure we'll get more color variations of the 64 Corvette very, very soon. Brand new casting, the Tuned Twin Mill. That's right, Tuned Twin Mill. Check this one out. What a unique looking casting. It's obviously the Twin Mill with the dual engines on there and this is from the tune series let's go ahead and pop it open and see this one nice and close here and you can see just how squished this one is here big window on there and there's obviously your two big engines on there but wow 
I, I never thought I'd see a tuned out twin mill, but hey, you can kind of expect the unexpected when it comes to Hot Wheels cars and releasing these uh, very unique and different fantasy castings. Big, big wheel on the back and then the little one on the front end there. A nice striping that goes up the center. And on the back, not much as far as detail goes. I'm not sure exactly what this little thing is supposed to be right there. If you guys know, let me know in the comment section down below. Little Hot Wheels logo right there. But tuned out twin mill, guys. What do you think? Brand new casting for 2021. Are you guys a fan of this one? All right, guys, before we continue on, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. It super helps me out. I'd super appreciate it. Let's know how much you guys like these videos. So hit that thumbs up. We're moving on now to the Mattel Dream Mobile from the Tuned Out series. There's another Tuned Out car, the Mattel Dream Mobile. We saw this one released last year, and now we get uh, another color variation of this one right here. This is like a very light blue, but look at the interior on here. It's a yellow interior. That is definitely unique, like a big bubble top on there, right there. And obviously you can see how it's got these, the fins on the back of it right here and then the kind of wheels and tires are a little bit hidden in there. And almost like a Chevy like front end with these headlights of some sort right there. But I, I don't know about this color variation. Like the outside does look really, really cool, but to match it with the yellow, that's definitely something unique that we don't really see, but hey, I'm not gonna lie, it's it's kind of neat. It's kind of a cool looking car, I do like it. Retroactive, a new car from Hot Wheels and check this one out. I guess this one is supposed to be good on the track and like I said, we're definitely gonna be trying this one out. It's gonna be in our race on Sunday and it is from the Track Stars series, there it is. Let's go ahead and pop it open and see what this one's all about. And this one, wow, like you can't miss this big thing, it almost looks like a bullet of some sort, but it's like a big jet engine or something on the back of it. Big, big wheels on the back of it, big wheel and tire combination, a little bit smaller ones in the front, but still very, very big. And I don't know, I think this one will be fast down the track. This is gonna be a really, really fun one to try down the peak time racing track for our drag racing. But what do you guys think for a new casting? Do you think this is gonna be fast down the track? Do you think this could potentially beat out our champ, our current champ? You guys let me know in the comment section down below. Aeropod is our next car. There it is, it's got like this Jurassic Park theme to it. It's from the Dino Riders series. So obviously we're gonna get a lot of uh, dinosaur related trucks and stuff. So let's go ahead and open this one up and see what it's all about. It's almost like Spider-Man type colors on there, the red and the blue, and it's got the big dino thing right there. And there's that T-Rex on there, the Hot Wheels logo just on the back of it. And super like high tech and unique looking. It's, it's a three seater as well. If you look on the interior of there, you can see three seats, which is really, really unique. And I don't know what these things and stuff are on the top of it. And then we've got, I don't know, it's like an, uh, are they spare tires or an engine of some sort on the rear that kind of goes right through? Very, very unique looking car. It's gonna be uh, interesting to see what they come out with for this Dino Riders series in the future for 2021. One of my favorite recolors so far, it's the 1970 Dodge Power Wagon. Wow, I really, really like this car. So I thought we'd have to open one of them up with the big 70 on the side of it. It's from the Baja Blazers series. Let's go ahead and pop it open. And as you guys know, this is one of my favorite Hot Wheels casting. And I'm, I don't even know why. It's just like, I don't like this in real life. Really, I've never been a big fan of these Dodge Power Wagons, but now just in Hot Wheels form, I think it looks super, super, super cool. And I love the mud tires on this one. What a unique touch to it. It's nice to have that come to Hot Wheels and you can see all right there on the back, just the nice clean look to it, even on the front end. A little bit of a clean look with these like spotlights and stuff, the hood scoop right there, and the big bar just right on the top. And one of the original releases of this one had a full metal base, but now the ones that are coming to the main lines, they're all just the plastic base. And you know what? You can't really tell when you, when you actually see it, but when you hold it, you can definitely feel the weight difference of it. But nonetheless, still just such a cool looking casting. You have to get your hands on this one. And the last, but definitely not least, it's the Baja Bone Shaker from the Holiday Racer series. And this one, 
is a treasure hunt. It's got the treasure hunt logo on there. We'll get a closer look at that in a sec. And this one is Halloween themed, so definitely right in time for Halloween of 2020, even though this is for the 2021 series. But nonetheless, wow, just look at that. Look at the, the orange tires with the like skull-like things on there. And then you can see just on the, uh, on the side, it does actually say treasure hunt with the pumpkin on the bottom, which is really, really cool. And we look to the top, Right there, we'll actually go around this side, and you can see right on the front right there, you can see the Treasure Hunt logo on there. You can see those big orange tires sticking out with all the chrome for that chrome engine and all of that. We can see the spare tire on the back of it, which doesn't match the side ones. That would have been cool if they matched it, although it does look pretty neat in the chrome right there. So that's a neat touch to it as well. And you can see the aggressive front end, the skull of the bone shaker right there but just just a really really cool treasure hunt i'm super excited to get this one it's a great start to 2021 for treasure hunts it's 2021 so we have a bunch of brand new hot wheels five packs let's go ahead and open them up and we'll start it off with the hot wheels sports five pack it's a brand new 2021 five pack i've never seen a sports edition of a five pack you can see it's got a bunch of different sports on there and cars that represent them let's go ahead and open this one up and get a look at all of these sports inspired cars inside right here we'll just rip it right open and we'll grab this packaging and let's start it off with our top car right here and our top one looks to be like a mustang that is a baseball inspired sport here so there you can see the the baseball that just goes around there hot wheels written down right down the side right there definitely looks like a mustang funny car doesn't open up i mean the older mustang funny cars did but for some reason these new ones that they're making they do not open up so a little bit less detail in that part but still nonetheless you can still see the engine through there you can still see the hot wheels logo right on the front with the baseball inspired striping and all of that as well 71 on the back looks to be a 1971 mustang pretty cool i like that but there we go that's our first one and our next one it looks to be the el camino and this looks to be the basketball edition so you can see hw sports on the side of it and it's uh, kind of an interesting color to it i don't know if it's supposed to be like a hard court or something like the color i don't think so maybe not but uh, nonetheless looks pretty cool i like the gold inspired on it and we've got the blacked out wheels on there the big engine on the back of this one right here pretty cool looking el camino and then next up we've got this one right here and uh, this one looks to be i think it's a soccer one or football if you're in europe but you can see the the soccer balls that are all just around right there and we can see the hw sports written on there it looks like a little bit of a goal of some sort right on the back right there and what is this exact car called i'm not even sure uh i'm not sure the exact name of this car if you guys know the name of the exact car let me know in the comment section down below it's some sort of newer fantasy car though but we'll go on to our next one and here we have ooh, check that one out this one's definitely football inspired look at the big engine on this one and this one is night shifter that's what i thought it was night shifter i was just double checking on there but there we go night shifter looks really good i like these wheels on there too they look really good for the night shifter and on the front very very aggressive front end on him as well for the football themed one and our last one is the factory team this looks to be a cycling one and there you go you can see the bikes on the back of this one and this one is rise and climb and there we go so rise and climb carrying the bikes on there cool color on there it's a nice glossy finish to it with a little bit of sparkle mixed in but very very cool for rise and climb for our hot wheels sports five pack and next up we've got the brand new corvette five pack again brand new for 2021 you can see it's got a nice corvette on the side right there it says corvette on this side with the corvette logo right there and then the corvette on the back as well looks like a c6r of some sort let's go ahead and open it up though before i smash the box anymore and wreck it we're just gonna rip it on open right here i know it's most unconventional way that i open up these five packs but you know what it's fun to just rip them open so we'll grab out the cars from there and let's go ahead and start with our first one right here and this looks to be like a corvette c6 i think it's a 
Grand Sport, if I'm not mistaken, does it say on the bottom? It doesn't say exactly, but it does look like the Grand Sport. It's got that, the C6 Grand Sport uh, kind of uh, little slots right there on the side of it. Nice looking from the back. Not much detail as far as stamping goes on the back for the lights or anything like that. Cool color, I like this striping. I'm seeing a lot of this now where they kind of start the stripes small and they kind of work their way back a little bit thicker and bigger there, but it uh, looks pretty cool. I really like this C6 Grand Sport. We'll go ahead and throw that one down. And next up we've got, uh, it looks like a Corvette C3 Stingray. And I don't know what all these things on the side of it, what this exact logo is right there. Can't really see exactly what that is. I'm not really sure if you guys know, let me know in the comment section down below. It's also got uh, some sort of name on the side of it as well. Cool looking though. I like the coloring of these, uh, of the wheel and tire combination. Look at the, the nice colored lip on those wheels. C3 Corvettes are one of my favorites. I really, really like them. Very, very cool looking Stingray design as they would call it. And then next up we've got, and this one, I think it's, uh, what is this exact one called? I can't remember what the Corvette Stingray it says, but I feel like there is a, uh, a Speed Racer series or something car named after this one here. So it just looks like a, a concept car of some sort of variation. Uh, HW Speed Shop on there. And it's got the nice two on it as well. I don't know, kind of interesting to see this one in here. I haven't really seen this casting recently, but there we go, nonetheless, we got it in the five pack. Our next Corvette, and this one looks to be like the uh, 60s Grand Sport race car, the Corvette race car. Um, so does it doesn't say on the back of it, it does not, just says 2014 Mattel, no. So it is a, a, it's a 60s Grand Sport Corvette, I believe the racer Corvette, but pretty neat. I like the color of this one. We did see this one as a mainline. And uh, also I believe this one comes as a super treasure hunt for 2021, but now we've got this different color one in this five pack. And last but not least, we've got the Corvette C6R. And this looks to be definitely the one on the back. You can see the one in the back right there. There's your C6R. So we have this C6R, I like it. This is probably my favorite car in this pack here. Love the yellow, love the big spoiler on the back, the blacked out wheels with the colored lip on there. Fantastic looking Corvette. And our next buy pack is the HW Design Lab or Hot Wheels Design Lab five pack. We've got five cars in here. Let's go ahead and pop this one open and we can see what this one is all about. We've got some pretty neat looking colors in this one. So let's go ahead and have a look at our first one right here, which is the GM Chevrolet letter, I believe it is. I think it's the GM Chevrolet letter. Let's see if it says on the bottom here. Uh, yeah, it is the Chevrolet Chevrolet letter, letter, I believe that is. But uh, nonetheless, it looks like some sort of concept car. But I mean, the main story here is just check out the graphics and the design and all of that on here for this design lab, of course. And I like the side of it. It does look kind of like Corvette-ish from the side. It looks like a 60s Corvette type style on there. Uh, even with the front, it kind of looks like a 60s Corvette uh, type of style, but obviously it's very uh, futuristically made and it's made to look like it's got all these cool designs and stuff like that on there. So that's our first one from this five pack. And next up we have the Hot Wheels High right here. There it is. This is a brand new color variation. Of course, it is from this new five pack. And just check out all the design features on the side of it. It looks like some sort of like maybe a protractor of some sort. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what that's supposed to be right there. We've got the Hot Wheels logo just right on the side. Nice blacked out wheels on there with the colored lip on it. Lots of chrome on the front end. And it's got the blue tinted windows and it's got the interior of chrome. So you can kind of see that chrome right inside of there. There is the chrome on the back for the engine. It looks like it's got like jets that are coming out. Look at it, you can see them just kind of poke out right there. So pretty neat looking casting. I do like the color of this one. I think it looks really neat on this car. And our next one is called Synchro. And Synchro is a nice looking white casting right here with some like paint splashed right onto the side. It says create on the side of it and check out the pink tires on here. That's very interesting. I don't think I've seen that before. Pink tires with the white wheels and you can even see the inlay behind them is also pink, which is pretty cool looking. Uh, not much detail as far as the back goes. Check out the exhaust pipes though, different colored exhaust pipes. It also is like that pinky magenta color on the bottom as well, which is pretty neat. And then we've got the colored interior on here. So it's an overall like a sporty looking car, but I think it looks pretty cool, the Synchro. And next up we have Off Track. Check this one out. Check out those details on the side of it. Tech Racing, it says on the side of it. Again, very, very interesting color choice on this one right here. Nice looking lip spoiler on here. There's your spare tire in the back. And then we've got this like 
crossbar inlaid into here. It almost looks like an X-Racer type crossbar mixed into there. Just check out all the paint and stuff on the side of it. That's really, really neat. Big push bar on the front end and aggressive looking headlights on it as well. And our last car from this Hot Wheels 5 pack is Time Tracker right here. And this one looks to be like an off-road kind of a dirt race car of some sort. And you can see the chrome interior on there that's kind of see-through through those windows. And then just check out the paint and stuff on the back of it right here. I'm not sure exactly what, uh, what this writing is supposed to mean. I don't know if you guys know what it is, comment down below right here. And check out all the cool graphics and stuff on the side of this one. Blacked out wheels with the colored lip on there. And there's that big spoiler on the back. Huge rear wing on there. We've got the little exhaust in chrome that kind of comes out right there. And I like this little touch of that little chrome bits on the top as well. And just kind of right here, kind of louvers right there. Pretty neat. Not much as far as detail on the front end goes. We've got that cowl hood on there, but not too bad. Kind of a cool looking casting. And our next five pack is the Hot Wheels Exotics five pack. You guys know this is probably my favorite one that we're opening up today. So let's get right to it right away. Let's not waste any time. And of course, our first car is probably going to be our highlight car from this one. Actually, you know what? There's a couple of good cars in this set. Let's go ahead and see it. The Bugatti Chiron. Brand new recolor of the Bugatti Chiron. This one is in a light blue color and it's got like a a little bit of a silverish white trim on there. Then check out those white wheels on there. They're, they're the oversized mesh white wheels on there. It looks really, really cool. There's your classic horseshoe Bugatti right there, the horseshoe grill on there as well, with the little Bugatti logo just sticking right through. I wish we, we got painted headlights on here. That would be a really cool touch because the headlights on the Bugatti Chiron look really, really cool. So hopefully in the future, they'll make a premium version that will add that in. But nonetheless, it's such a great looking design car. I absolutely love the Bugatti. Chiron. Next up, we have the Aston Martin, and I believe this is a V8 Vantage, I think. Yeah, it is. Aston Martin V8 Vantage. There we go. I was right. So there it is. Classic green color. The nice stripe that goes down the middle. Cool looking headlight details right there. Classic Aston Martin grill on there. I like these uh, 10 spoke chrome wheels on there. They look really good. Not much far, uh, as far as tampa work goes on the rear end right there, but still nonetheless, a really, really cool looking car overall. I love Aston Martins. And then we have our Lamborghini Veneno, brand new color of this one. Check this one out. I love the Veneno. It's one of the most exotic looking Lamborghinis. Just everything about it is just absolutely crazy. We've had many recolors of this casting and now we've got it in this five pack, but still nonetheless, I, I just love all the new colors that they come out with this one. Blacked out wheels with the white lip on there. Just a fabulous, fabulous design car. Love the Lamborghini Veneno. And then next up we have the Lotus Esprit Twin Turbo. This one in white with the white mesh wheels, bigger wheels on the back and then smaller ones on the front. And then we can check out that off center stripe that kind of has like a little pinstripe also that matches with it as well. So it's kind of cool. It's a little bit of a neat touch, something a little bit different. We got the little Lotus logo on the front end right there as well. They're pop-up headlights, so we don't see any of those ones on there. Not much as far as painting or stamping or tempo work or anything like that on the back end of it, but nonetheless, an overall great looking car. And our last car from this Hot Wheels five pack is the Jaguar. Uh, the Project 7, I believe this one, I think it is. Yeah, the F-Type Project 7, there we go. 2015 Jaguar F-Type Project 7. Nice looking color on this one, gray wheels on there. There's your classic uh, F-Type Project 7, the, the little circle stamping on there. And then there's that stripe on the front end. Great looking headlight work on there. Looks absolutely fabulous. And we got that cool looking spoiler that pops up on the back. And I like these Jaguar rear ends. They look really, really nice. Really nice designs ones on there. The Project 7 F-Type Jaguar. And our final five pack that we're opening up today is the Hot Wheels Track Builder Unlimited five pack. And this one says Track Stars just right up on the top right there. So these ones are good for the track. Let's go ahead and pop these ones open and see. It looks like we've got some fantasy cars included on here, but a couple of pretty popular fantasy cars. So let's go ahead and rip this one right open and see what we have. So our first one right here is the governor. We've got an all white governor, all plastic body on here. So a little bit disappointing. I mean, it's not a full metal body, but nonetheless, it's kind of a 
a cool looking aggressive like cartoonish looking car we've got the exhaust that's kind of built in there which looks like they're like fans of some sort on the back of it orange wheels on there these are these these Hot Wheels wheels that we saw. I think we saw these ones on the Honda City Turbo 2 first. Now we're getting them in a bunch of Hot Wheels cars. Cool graphics on the side and just kind of plain from the front end though, the governor. All right, next up we have the HW40, the Hot Wheels HW40. We haven't seen this one for a while. It's kind of a cool looking car. Check it out from the front. It almost looks kind of like like maybe Ferrari slash Jaguar-ish from the front end. And it's actually a cool looking design from the side. Very, very sporty looking. Kind of looks almost a little bit Corvette-esque from the back end right there. It's kind of a mixture of some cool sports cars. We got orange wheels on it. There's your number four on the side, some graphics on the side of it. And it looks like it's got some big engine on the front. Check out that big engine right there. And it's kind of got the blue windows that covers up, up it all, but not bad, HW40. And then to follow that, we've got the HW50 concept. There it is, HW50 concept. We saw this one for the 50th anniversary of Hot Wheels. And now we're getting uh, some even more colors of it. We've had a few different recolors of it, but this one is really cool. I, I don't even know what to call this color. It's like a purplish teal, maybe magenta-ish color. Really, really cool looking. I really do like it. And then we've got the orange wheels with the chrome lip. That is very unique. I don't think I've ever seen orange wheels with the chrome lip on there. What do you think of that? That looks pretty cool. We've got the chrome all on the bottom as well. Very, very shiny chrome on the bottom of that one right here. And then check out that engine right there sitting nicely. We've got the bumper on there that's all chrome as well and we go to the back end we've got that little bit of a diffuser on there that's chrome as well just the hw50 concept i was a fan of this one when it came out i still like it this is a great recolor of that one and next up we have let's see what this one is this one looks like speed box i think it is speed box so there we go sb yeah it is sb on there so speed box one sb1 we've got the orange kind of like yellowish orange tinted windows on there, chrome interior on this one. And just check out the kind of wide body in chrome on there. Really, really cool. Check out the colors on this one as well. That is absolutely crazy. Love the colors on that chrome all right on that bumper right there. And then that chrome big front grill, very Rolls Royces on that for that big grill on the front end, but not bad speed box for this one. And our very last one that we have right here is the twin duction check out twin duction it's kind of like a muscle-ish car look to it and just check out those wheels these wheels i don't think i've seen these wheels before they look like they've got some deep dish on them check those ones out i have never seen those wheels before that is really really cool so maybe we're getting some new wheels to the lineup for 2021 this is a brand new recolor for this one right here check out that engine right there wow check it out how it sticks up and it's also painted engine on there this is just a really cool design car i really really like it it's very like a, like a muscle car slash sports car it almost looks like a mustang crossed with the 350z that's kind of what this one is nice looking rear end on there but just an overall really really cool looking fantasy car i really like this one. i like the design and stuff on the side of it as well nice looking car all of these cars came from the 2021 hot wheels c case let's go ahead and start it off with the honda civic si brand new color look at this one such a gorgeous looking car i love the color of this one and you guys know i'm not the biggest honda fan but you know what hot wheels is making some fantastic looking honda products right here check out that hood scoop on the front the nice tampo headlights and all of that great looking chrome wheels on the side of it and this color just looks perfect for this car really really like it nice tampo work on the back of this civic as well and you can see that little spoiler that just comes up just right there we got a black interior and we also have that moon roof right on top an all-around great looking car next up we have the heavy hitcher this is a brand new recolor of the heavy hitcher from the hot wheels metro series car number two of ten let's go ahead and open it up and get a close-up look at it and obviously this one is a tow truck so it's got that little tow hook just right on the back right there and if we go ahead and try it out we can uh we can kind of tow the civic if we just put it down right there there we go so we can tow that honda civic perfectly fine it'll roll around nicely and it hooks on so there we go we've got that heavy hitcher we've got the, the heavy 
hitcher riding on the side of it. From the front, pretty plain, does look kind of mean looking, which is good. It's kind of supposed to be a rugged looking truck. We got the lights on the top, we got the blacked out wheels, big wheels on the rear with a little bit smaller ones on the front. We've got that colored lip on there all around, but uh, nice looking new recolor of heavy hitcher. Land Rover Defender 90. I absolutely love this casting. I think it looks great. And this is part of the Baja Blazers series. So this one, it's got like that rugged mud look to it. it looks really, really cool. Let's go ahead and pop it open. And we can see what it looks like up close right here. And there we go. So you can see the mud look on those tires right there. And all the wheels are all muddy as well. It's even got some like a little bit of mud splashes and stuff just right on the body. You can kind of just see it slightly mixed into the paint job right there. We've got the Land Rover 90, the number 90 right there for the Defender 90. There's that sunroof on the top. Really, really cool roof design too, kind of how it slants down a little bit right there. And then it's got some ruggedness on the top. We've got the spare tire on there, which is kind of weird that the spare tire is completely clean. Would have been cool if it had like a little bit of mud splashes and stuff on there, but nonetheless, it still looks really, really good. And there's that classic Land Rover front end. Just a great looking casting. I absolutely love this one. I can't wait to see more colors of it. 2016 Ford GT race. And I was super excited to get another color of this one. This one's come out now and I think about probably about five or six different recolors since this casting was released. But nonetheless, I'm excited to see another color for this one. So we've got the silver, or I guess you could call this gray, but I'd say it's more of a silver color. And it's got the black striping right down there. We actually have the regular 2017 Ford GT, which it looks very, very similar colors. So it's gonna be cool to put these side by side. But this one does have like that Borla exhaust on the side of it with some writing and stuff and all that. So it's meant to be racing. You can see kind of the, the racing uh, number right there. We got the cool looking headlights on the front end. And of course, there is that big rear diffuser and spoiler for the race variation. If we look right through, we can kind of see the engine right through there as well, which is a cool, neat touch to this one. And there's that little door that would open up on a race car to have the guy escape in case there's a fire or anything like that. But just an all around great looking car, the Ford GT race. And next up from the Fast Foodie series, we've got Donut Drifter, new color of Donut Drifter. We've seen him in a few different colors from last year. Now we've got this new one. It's a pink donut. We've got the blue on the back. Let's go ahead and pop open the Donut Drifter. Uh, it's a very, very cool, fun casting. My kids actually really, really like this casting. Obviously, it's a little donut race car, so it looks really neat. Pink wheels on there. We've got the, whoa, whoa, we're dropping it. We're dropping, of course, it wouldn't be a video unless I dropped the car, but there we go. It's back. It's fine. Donut Drifter did okay. We've got the blue backing on him as well, and there's that little guy just riding right in there, right in the middle of it. Donut Drifter. And a really cool, unique, interesting casting. It's the Hot Wheels Legends Tour winner, The Nash. And this was from the Hot Wheels Dream Garage series. And this one won the Hot Wheels Legends Tour car of the year in 2019. And now they've released it into this Hot Wheels casting. And I think it's a really, really cool looking casting. We're actually gonna be seeing this one in the Forza Horizon 4 video game. So stay tuned for that. There's a Hot Wheels pack coming out for that. We'll have more details on that one in the future. But nonetheless, let's look at the Nash. Look at the cool engine that comes out. Got that rustic look on the front uh, right here. It's kind of look a little bit rustic. It's supposed to be a little bit older looking. The really cool thing I really like about this is just check out those wheels and tires. Just check that out. Very, very unique. I've never seen a wheel tire combination like this before. They've got the really thin tires on there and they kind of come out. I just love it. It's a really, really good stance to this car. It's a very, very unique design. Nicely customized. Nice to see this one into a Hot Wheels casting. Next up is the 2017 Nissan GTR R35. We've got this one in yellow. Just a fantastic looking casting from the then and now series. So expect a then edition of this car coming in the future. I'm not too sure the exact one of this one. Let's go ahead and pop it open though. We have lots of different colors of this one released in the past, but now we've got this cool looking yellow one. You guys know how much I love yellow. It's my favorite color of all time. So very, very cool to see a GTR in yellow. Great looking detail for tampa work and stamping and all that on the back of it. We've got the nice blacked out wheels on there. It's got a little bit of a colored lip on there, colored chrome lip on there. There's that cool looking Nissan GTR front end. And then if you look at the striping, it's really cool. It's got like a kind of jagged 
edge and not like fully striped right through and then it stripes bigger from all the way down to the back it gets it gets even bigger as it goes down so that's a pretty cool stripe we haven't seen something like that for a while so very very unique on this car but what do you guys think of the yellow nissan gtr next up we've got tricera truck tricera truck a brand new color of tricera truck this one's from the dino riders series car number three of five and we've got lots of different colors of this one that's come up previously and now we've got another recolor of it and it's a it's just a really cool casting i mean it's something unique it's definitely a fantasy casting of course it's supposed to look like the triceratops dinosaur on there and just check it out we've got the engine on the back we've got the little exhaust that supposedly comes out right there there's the horns on there and there's the big like I don't know what they're called, the thin things or whatever on the Tricera truck, but an all around great looking design. And it's cool to see all the different recolors that have come out of this one. What do you guys think of this one? Next up, we've got the Volvo 850 Estate. We've got it now in the red color from the Factory Fresh series. We've seen this one previously re released in a white, and I think it was like a grayish blue color that they had previously as well. But I really like the clean look of this red one. It's a very high gloss look to it. Nice looking chrome wheels on this one. It's just a classic design, classic Volvo car, very reliable in real life, and uh, just a kind of they have a, a little bit of a following to these type of cars but I think it looks really cool kind of looks like it's lowered out with a body kit and stuff on there nice detail on the front nice roof on there as well very boxy design but I think it looks really cool hot Weiler is our next one a unique casting from the street b series new color of this one and this one does something a little bit unique which you don't see a lot on cars and i'll show you that right now so let's go ahead and have a look at there's hot Weiler in this cool looking orangish color here we've got some cool design on it and then we've got uh i don't know like it looks like a chain of some sort to chain the dog down i mean it's obviously supposed to be a dog and there is the uniqueness of this is it has this piece that kind of comes up so it's got like the 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 angry teeth on him that will come up and eat you up and bite you right here so that's a very unique thing that the hot Wilder does and you can see the big chrome base on there that is that chrome exhaust that sticks out from the side gold wheels on there as well it's a unique casting but it's nice to see a new recolor of it Ford GT40, absolutely fantastic looking casting. This is part of the Gumball 3000s release edition from the Then and Now series, car number one of 10. And so we do have a now edition of this, which I've actually already opened up previously, the 2017 Ford GT. Let's go ahead and open this one up though. And I really, really like this one. The GT40, very classic design. I mean, even to this day, the GT40 looks kind of new and it was made in in the late 60s very very cool looking design awesome car obviously it was famous for winning Le Mans four times in a row you guys saw that movie Ford versus Ferrari so obviously that's the story of this but it's uh, just been one of my favorite cars of all time I really really like the GT40 I think it looks great I love seeing all the new recolors of this obviously it's an older casting we've seen this one previously but there we go now we've got it in a then and now series the Ford GT40 Subaru WRX STI Hot Wheels Speed Graphic Series, brand new yellow recolor of this casting. And it's the Subaru WRX STIs are just really, really cool cars. But I have to say, I'm not a big fan of the hatchback variation, the hatchback variation. I don't, I don't think it looks that great. I like the sedan variation of this one. But nonetheless, it's an STI, third fast turbocharged car, all wheel drive. Not much as far as Tampa work goes on the front end. I mean, you can see the headlights and all there. They're just not really stamped in. They've, they've used the stamping for the STI and the stripe and the little uh, Subaru logo right there, but it's kind of weird that you don't see any stamping for any headlights or anything like that. Big STI logo on the side of it, as you can see the little Hot Wheels logo right there, and just stamping for the license plate back there, but nothing as far as anything else goes for lighting or anything like that. But still, it's a pretty cool looking casting. Like I said, it's not my favorite, but it's nice to see some more Subarus to the Hot Wheels lineup. 69 Chevelle, and this is part of the X Racer series, so you can kind of see through this car. This is a new color variation of this one. So let's go ahead and open up this 69 Chevelle right here. And there we go, cool looking color to it. And there there we go, there's the see-throughness. You can see through 
right through the car, even through the top where you can see right down in kind of through the interior as well. It does have some sort of weird graphics and striping and stuff like that all around it. Not much as far as any paint work goes for the front end. I mean, they put a lot of effort into the body work on this one, which I think it looks really cool. I like these X Racer cars. I'd actually like to see more like these supercars get into an X Ray series. I mean, it'd be cool to see like a a McLaren Center or something like that with this type of bodywork. What do you guys think? I don't know. I like this one. I think it's pretty cool. We'll have to see if they release any neat ones in the future. Surf and Turf, brand new color of Surf and Turf Hot Wheels art car series. So obviously the art cars will have a lot of crazy paintwork on them. So let's go ahead and see what the Surf and Turf has. So very, very cool looking paint job. Just check out the detail and stuff on that paint job right there. Looks fantastic. We've got the blacked out wheel with the white lip on them which looks pretty neat there's the back end of it right there there's got the surfboard on the top and a big chrome engine just check out the size of that engine right there you can barely see through the front window with a big engine just like that very very cool looking car though guys what do you guys think of surf and turf in the art cars form and next up, we've got the Lancia Delta Integrale. I'm not sure if I pronounced that exactly right, but I think this is a really cool looking car. I really like the white look with the white wheels on there. Let's go ahead and pop it open. We can get a nice close up look at this one. So obviously this one's made for like off-road racing, I think it was back in the 80s maybe, but very, very cool design car. I really, really like the detail. Just check out the detail of the front end. Looks absolutely fantastic. The lighting, you know, the stamping for the headlights, this, even the side little marker lights, the, the fog lights on the bottom. Very, very great designed car. Nicely stamped, great looking details on the side. Those white wheels look fantastic. Really, really like those as well. Cool looking spoiler on the top. It's kind of got like a little lip spoiler. Uh, they kind of cheaped out a little bit on the back. I mean, not much as far as stamping or anything goes but if you just look at it from that end right there and you just look from the front and the side such a good looking Hot Wheels casting. Lamborghini Urus and we have a factory fresh edition 2017 brand new recolor we saw this one originally released in yellow now we've got this blue one with different wheels on it let's go ahead and pop it open and get a nice look at it i was a big fan of the yellow one that originally came out just because the detail on the front hand looked really really good and let's see looks really great on this one as well nice looking stamp for the headlights just look at all the details for the front grille and the mesh and all that it's proper lamborghini look to it very, very cool from the side end right there. These wheels, I actually think it kind of looks good on the Urus. I mean, normally I'm not a fan of these wheels. I think they're a little bit too busy, but I think it does suit the Urus very, very nicely. Great looking back end right there. You can see the Lamborghini logo mixed in with the little uh, Urus for the license plate as well, but just an all around fantastic design. We love to see all these new Lamborghinis. Even though this is a Lamborghini SUV, still, nonetheless, it looks great. Hot Wheels has done this one right. BMW M3 GT2. We've got this one in red from the Hot Wheels Race Day series. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Very, very cool looking car. I like all these BMWs and this one looks good. I mean, these wheels though are one thing I have to say. I don't know if they, if they suit the car. They kind of do, they kind of don't. But nonetheless, I mean, they're blacked out so it doesn't look too bad. We've got a big rear spoiler. Check out the spoiler is like pretty much wider than the car itself, almost wider than the car itself. It really, really shines on this car though, really nicely. No stamping for the rear though, so it's very, very plain for the front as well. Nothing much as far as stamping or anything like that goes, but they spent the, the work on the striping and on the side, which I think it does look really good. So if you just look at it from the side, it looks really, really nice, this BMW. Next up, the Custom 77 Dodge Van from the Hot Wheels Art Car Series. And this one, if you look really closely, can you spot it before I open it up? It is a treasure hunt car. Do you guys see the little treasure hunt logo? All right, let's go ahead and pop it open and I'll show you exactly where it is here. So it is the treasure hunt. So you can see even on the card, there it is. There's the treasure hunt logo right there. But on the car itself, if we look at the back and right there, right mixed in right there you can see the little treasure hunt logo so it is a treasure hunt the jack of hearts car hot wheels art car series and just check out that on the top great looking stamping and detail for it they've done a really really good job on this treasure hunt car i really really like it they've done a nice Nice paint job, nice look. Overall, just a great car to display. And also the fact that it is a treasure hunt. Next up, we've got the Porsche 935. This is a Magnus Walker 
Urban Outlaw Edition. So it's got that same coloring that we've seen before on quite a few different Porsches. But there we have this one. Very, very nice in the white. I like the 935. We've gotten several different recolors of this one previously. But this one does look good in the Magnus Walker trim. And I just really like the blue. The blue on the Magnus Walker looks really good. I like it better than the red variations that they've released previously. So we see that nice blue base on there. The white car and then the red kind of mixed in right there, which looks good. So it's got to have that blue trim on the bottom. So I think this one's done right. Although I'm not a big fan of these wheels. I think they look a little bit too old looking. But nonetheless, just an all around good looking car. It's a good looking Porsche. What do you guys think of this Magnus Walker Edition Porsche 935? Next up is Speed Dozer. Check out Speed Dozer. Check out the size of the rear wheel tire combination on this one compared to the front. Obviously, it's supposed to be like a bulldozer that's got like a big engine on it. So let's go ahead and get a close up look at this one, this Speed Dozer. Look at the exhaust on here, the big chrome exhaust pipes that come down there the big headers and stuff on this one. Just absolutely crazy. I mean, this would be cool to see them build something like this in real life. Just like a crazy bulldozer with a big engine on it. Just check out the rear tires. They're all muddy and stuff as well, which looks really, really cool. Speed Dozer, an interesting casting. I really like it. I think it's cool to add to the Hot Wheels lineup. Roger Dodger, the magic eight ball addition to this car from the Mattel games series. And it's a pretty cool looking car. I mean, I think the Roger Dodger suits a magic eight ball car. I mean, I can't think of a better Hot Wheels car to put as a magic eight ball edition. I don't know what it is. It just looks good. The Roger Dodger, there it is. It's a very glossy black. I mean, Roger Dodger is kind of a muscle car look, but just the way that they've integrated that eight ball in there, it looks really, really cool. And you can see even the little magic eight ball written on the back end. We've got the Hot Wheels logo right there. The big engine on it looks very, very mean and aggressive with that big engine. It's just check out how glossy the car is all around in our lights right here. What do you guys think of the magic eight ball edition on the Roger Dodger? And our last car that we're opening up today is the Dodge Van. And don't be fooled by just the name Dodge Van because I actually have opened up one of these before and I was actually quite surprised how good of a casting this is and how detailed it is. So first, if we just look around the side, I mean, it's got some nice stamping on there. It does have like the, the moon eyes on there. So I'm not even sure if it's an officially a moon eyes edition. We've got the Dodge on there. Great looking detail on the front end. Just look at that. Look at the grill, the stamping of the headlights, the, the windshield wipers and the chrome all on that front end right there. Nice looking slats on the back for these windows as well as the chrome bumper. And then the showpiece. Look inside of this one. It's all chrome and it looks like it's got a little go-kart inside of it. Isn't that cool? Check out that little go-kart that's inside. All chromed out go-kart, chromed out uh, interior as far as the seats and the dash and all of that go. Just a, a really, really cool detailed van. I mean, when you see the name, just Dodge Van, you, you think it's kind of boring, but then you actually open it up, it's there's just so much to see about this car. It's just a fantastic looking Hot Wheels car. Really, really nicely. Done. And we'll start it off with the brand new recolor of the Land Rover Defender 90. And I'm really liking this one because it's got the mud outlook. You can see the mud all on the wheels and tires right there. It's from the Baja Blazer series. Let's go ahead and pop it open and get a nice look at this one here. So we've definitely seen lots of different colors of this one. We do have a blue one of this one coming up here pretty soon in the future, but I really, really like the look of this one. And I just love the mud wheels on there, the wheels and tires. Just check that out. Doesn't that look cool? Although it would have been cool if they actually put one on the back right here too. You can see it's a nice fresh clean one, even though this car is supposed to be all mudded out and they could have put maybe some mud or something on the front there, but I know that would be asking a little too much from just the $1 Hot Wheels car, but still nonetheless, it's a fantastic looking car. I've always been a big fan of the Land Rover Defender 90. And next up we have a Hello Kitty cool combi from the Hot Wheels screen time. And we're getting quite a few of these new Hello Kitty edition cars. This is from uh, a brand new line right now. We've got uh, probably a few more Hello Kitty cars coming up from Hot Wheels in the future. We did see a Hello Kitty premium Honda Civic um, just previously in one of the sets, but this one is pretty cool. I like it. Look at the Hello Kitty just written on the top right there, the little logo right there from her. And then right on the side, it's got the 
Hello Kitty written down there. Nice clean look from the front end of the cool combi. And of course, we've got the little wheelie bars right there. And this is the exhaust that comes out. We've got the engine in the back of the cool combi. Pretty neat looking car. I'm super excited to see more Hello Kitty versions. Next up is the Volvo 850 Estate. We saw this one previously released in white and then gray. And now we have a really clean look to this red one right here. And this was in the 2020 Hot Wheels B case. And let's go ahead and have a look at this one here. Here we go, look at that. Love the wheels on here. Very, very nice looking chrome wheels. And I just love this glossy red look. Just look at that shine away. Very, very nice. Just a excellent, excellent clean look to the car. I wasn't a huge fan of the previous color variations that these came in because they're just like, there are just so much going on with them on the sides. So it's nice to have this one right here. Nice looking headlight detail from the front end right there. And on the back end, of course, the little Volvo logo and all that right there for the Volvo 850 Estate. And next up we have Retroactive. Retroactive is a Track Stars variation car. So this is definitely gonna be a fun one to put down the track. Let's go ahead and look up and open it up here. Here we go, Retroactive that we have right here. Just check out the, the tire combination. Just check out the, the colored tires on there, the orange colored tires. Very classic Hot Wheels for these Trackstar variations cars. And then we can see all those slots and stuff on the side, which is pretty neat to see that. And from the front end, it just looks like a very, very fast looking car. Uh, kind of looks like teeth from the front end, a little bit interesting. And then we've got this like big jet engine thing that just kind of comes down uh, right through the middle, uh, right down there and exits out on the back end. Pretty neat looking car. Can't wait to put this one down the track. And next up, we have the Magnus Walker Edition Urban Outlaw of the Porsche 944 Turbo from 1989. New color variation from the Hot Wheels Turbo series. There is 944 written on the side of it. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what it looks like here. And you can see it's a very nice looking silver color just on the top. And then it kind of blends into this blue on the bottom with the 944 kind of written across it. Gold wheels on here, which look really, really cool. And there it is from the back end. Not much as far as uh, stamping goes, but I do like the detail of the lights on the back. That does look really cool. We got this little mini lip spoiler right there, the Hot Wheels logo just on the back end right there. And this one in real life does have the pop out headlights. So you can see the headlights are just kind of meshed in right into the bodywork and the uh, casting of this one. Pretty neat looking casting. We saw this one originally come out in red. Now we've got the Magnus Walker edition. Excited to see some more color variations of this car in the future. 1968 Mustang, and this is a tuned out variation of the Mustang. It is from the Tune series right there. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what this one is all about right here. And you can see it's a nice matte finish paint job on here. So it's not glossy at all. Nice looking matte finish. We've got a couple of different graphics and stuff all down the side. And of course we've got this big center or side exit exhaust right here that it has on here. Giant engine, of course, a lot of these tuned out cars have the big giant engine on there. We've got some nice color just on the bottom. It's like an orangey color that kind of meshes into there. Chrome all on the back. Just a neat looking car. I like these tuned out cars. Nice to see a Mustang come back to the lineup in the tuned out series. 1970 Dodge Power Wagon from the Baja Blazer series. It's another one with the mud out tires on here. Let's go ahead and pop it open and see this. And if you guys watched uh, several of my previous videos, I actually put this as one of my top five favorite Hot Wheels castings. I really, really like this casting. I think it looks fantastic. I mean, in real life, I'm maybe not a huge fan of this car, but I just think the casting of it looks really, really cool. I love how it's like a nice classic looking truck, but it's all raised up. It's got the big tires and the nice raised suspension on there and this one has uh, some stuff on the back right here it says Goodyear Dodge we've got the 1970 for the 70 right there and there's the Hot Wheels logo written on there we also got these little bar with the lights and stuff right there on there we saw this one in premium now we're seeing several different color variations come into the main line but I really really like this car I think it's such a cool looking one the Dodge Power Wagon cloak and dagger coming up next here this one's from the Hot Wheels glow racers so this one does glow in the dark so if you charge it up in your lights nicely and then turn your lights off this one will glow which is really really cool I like to see all these glow in the dark ones here we'll take this one out and then there is one really cool unique thing about this car is this whole top piece right here does separate from the car if I remember correctly let's see how we do it I'm just gonna kind of pull it there we go we pulled it apart right there so that's the actual car right there and then this will all glow in the dark as well. And I'm not, I don't think the clear piece will glow in the dark. I think all the glow in the dark is like the wheels right here, the tires, um, all this part of the bodywork, all that right there will all glow into the dark. And then this 
put this over top of it will probably look pretty neat when it's glowing in the dark. So I'll have to go test it out. But if you get a hold of this one, you should definitely try it in the Glow in the Dark series, Cloak and Dragger. One of my favorite new castings of the year, it's the 2020 Jaguar F-Type from the Factory Fresh series. Original release of this one now in blue. Uh, so we'll probably get some more recolors of this. I would assume we'd probably get like a red one. Red's a pretty popular color for Jaguars, but I really like the blue color of this one that it originally came out in. So let's go ahead and open it up and have a look at it up close right here. And you can see it's a nice glossy blue color. And then it's got those chrome 10 spoke wheels on there, which look really, really good. I love the detail on the back. I love how they've painted on the lights that kind of mesh in and kind of go around to the sides. Really, really neat looking. And then we go around to the front, great detail all around on the front end right there. And you can see the little Jaguar logo that will pop right in the middle right there. Just a really, really cool casting all around. Like I said, I'm excited to see more recolors of this one. And I assume we'll probably see this one in maybe in an exotic series down the road, uh, cause we tend to see some of the Jaguars go into the exotic series, but some would debate whether this Jaguar is exotic enough to be an exotic uh, series or if it's just more of a sports car, but we'll see. I really, really like this Jaguar F-Type though. Another Hot Wheels Glow Racers. It's the HW Warp Speeder or Hot Wheels Warp Speeder. And this one's another one of those glow in the dark ones there. So let's go ahead and open it up here and see what this one looks like and see where all the glow surfaces are. So we can see right here on the back, you can see these wheels and tire combination that it has. Uh, all of that will glow nicely right there. And we can see some glow stuff all around this one right here as well. Very, very cool looking car. I mean, it is like a Roadster. It's like a single seater Roadster, the Hot Wheels Warp Speeder. We saw this one uh, several times last year. I think we saw about two or three different colors of this one last year. And now we've got the Glow Series one. So it's pretty neat. Probably put them all together. It's a neat looking car. I mean, just another cool fantasy car. Kind of reminds me of the old Ford Indigo. So you can look that car up. Kind of looks like that one there, but there we go. T-Rex Troyer is our next car. Cool looking fantasy car from the Dino riders let's go ahead and open it up and see what this one's all about right here and we can see this one it's got like of course the little dinosaur head that you can see kind of mesh right in and then these are its paws that kind of come up and go uh right there for fenders we can see the teeth right there for him it's kind of scary almost looks like a crocodile if you look at it from the side kind of weird uh, and then it's got the little tail that sticks out right there and then there's the back claws right there for the rear fenders uh, blue underneath and then we've got the chrome engine with the big tailpipes that come out the sides pretty neat looking car though the t-rex destroyer Another Batmobile, it is the Batman Akram Knight Batmobile. And we've got a new color variation this one. I think it's like a green color. It's like a dark green color for this one. Um, it's got the Batman logo just right up on the top right there. Pretty neat looking. And let's go ahead and pop it open and see what this one looks like here up and close. We've got several different recolors of this car previously. Lots of different variations of this car. And this is a very gloss color to it. I like these wheels. They suit this car very, very well. I mean, on, in all honesty though, it's a little bit ugly looking. I mean, I like the old classic, uh, like maybe like mid 90s Batmobile look and these new ones. I know they're high tech and they do a lot of cool features, but I don't think they look as cool as like the ones with have the jet engine that kind of goes right through the whole vehicle. Pretty cool. But definitely if you're a Batman collector, this is definitely one to get. 1970 Volkswagen Baja Bug, and this is from the Baja Blazers series. Although it is a, like a tuned out bug, but it does have that cool looking mud that these Baja Blazer series cars have. So we've got the tires with the mud on them. Let's go ahead and pop this one open though. We can see what this one is all about right here. And this one's got a really cool looking paint job on here. So if we see this one just kind of up close and personal right here, and you can see on the top, we've got that 70 for 1970. And it's a nice looking stripe that it has go down there. And then of course, we've got those mud tire and wheels. Check it out, check out all the mud that looks like it's on there. Really, really cool. Like I said, I said that previously with several of the other cars we saw already, but I just really like this series. I love how they're doing the mud. They're adding that extra bit of detail on there. Big exhaust that comes out there. And we can see it from the front. Just looks like a really tiny car. This is definitely, uh, it is a tinier Hot Wheel car when you hold it in hand. I mean, you compare it to this Dodge Power Wagon, like here, there's another Baja Blazer series. And then you see, look at this bug is like pretty much half the size of this Dodge Power Wagon. I mean, we put it side by side, like right here, and you can see how much bigger that 
power wagon is. But still, very, very cool collectible car. Definitely, if you like these Volkswagen Beetles, this is definitely one you have to get. Hot Wheels Legends Tour winner from 2019. It is the Nash. And I really, really like this car. Definitely a cool looking one from the Hot Wheels Dream Garage. And there's some unique things on this car. So let's go ahead and pop it open. And I'll show you the different things that we have on this car. So you can see it's meant to have that like rustic paint job look. So you can see a lot of like rustic areas and stuff all around it. And then if we look from the side, you can see these tires look like super oversized. And now if we flip it around and we look from the bottom, you can see how they've got this really, really unique plastic pieces that make the tires stick out just like that. So they're really, really thin tires. So if we look at it from the back, you can just see how thin those tires are, but then we've got that piece that makes them stick out. So it gives it a really cool stance, a really cool look to this one. I haven't actually seen this car in real life, so I'm not really sure exactly how they did it, but I'm pretty sure Hot Wheels tried to imitate exactly what they did. So it's pretty, pretty neat how they did that. I like that big chrome engine that sticks out there. That's really, really cool as well. The Nash, I'm sure we'll get definitely some more recolors of this one coming up here shortly, but nonetheless, great look to this new Hot Wheels Legends Tour winner. 1996 Porsche Carrera. We've got a new recolor of this one. We've seen several different recolors of this one in the last year or so, but there we have a new white one. And we've got some different wheels. I don't think we've seen these wheels on this one previously. So let's have a look at this one. We'll open it up there. And this is a nice glossy white color. And then it's got some cool like, like stamping and, and striping and stuff like that on the side. We've got a little mini Hot Wheels logo right there. And just check out those wheels. Those wheels, I think they kind of suit this. They're, it's kind of like a classic look wheel, but when you mesh it in with this Porsche, it actually doesn't look too bad. And we see on the front end right there, you can see we haven't got much as far as detail for stamping and headlights. A little bit disappointing on that end. Even on the rear, we don't have too much. We do have the little Carrera logo right there. Other than that though, it's pretty clean looking. But there we go, the Porsche Carrera. Next up, we've got another Tunes car. This is the Tunes Twin Mill, a brand new casting for 2021. And if you're a Twin Mill fan, the fact that they've made this into a tuned variation, it is crazy looking. Let's go ahead and open it up here. And the one thing, if you look on the actual card itself, you can see it's got that little guy right there that kind of sticks through the window. But do we see that in this car? Not exactly. It looks like this one, we've got two seats. So if we look in there, you can see there's two seats. And if we look in the card, I don't know if it's two seats or if it's a guy looking through. It's hard to say, but it's got like an opening right there. And this one doesn't really have much of an opening. But definitely a cool looking car overall. Just, just check out how big the rear tire and wheels are on this one. Check it out in the back. They're just ginormous. Then we got the little mini ones on the front. Just, it's just, I can't believe they did a casting like this. I can't believe they tuned out a twin mill. The big twin engines on here. That's the classic twin mill look, but very, very cool looking new casting for 2021. Triumph TR6 is our next one up. Look at this cool casting right here. Hot Wheels Race Day Series, the number 54 on the side. It's a cool looking green color. Let's go ahead and pop this one open and see what it's all about. And definitely a race car look to this one. Open top race car. We've got the roll bar right there. You can see it is a right hand drive car. It's definitely from like the England area. A cool look to the back. It almost looks kind of Mustang-ish from the back right there. I don't know why, it just kind of reminds me of the Mustang. Even uh, it kind of looks like a 60s Mustang from the front end as well. Maybe a little bit smaller of a car though in real life, but nonetheless, I like this. I like this open top look. I think it looks really, really neat. There's that 54 on the side with the Hot Wheels logo, the blacked out wheels and the gold lip on them. Dodge Van. That's literally all it says. Just Dodge Van from the Hot Wheels Drift series. It looks like that like 77 Dodge Van of some sort. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But still Dodge Van. I think it's kind of funny how they just left it as just Dodge Van. That's it. Nothing, nothing more, nothing less. The simple Dodge Van. You can see uh, lots of seats and stuff on the interior, all chromed on the interior right there. So pretty, pretty neat. It's It's got like a, a like a green tint on there, kind of like a greenish tint on there. So that's pretty cool, but definitely a neat look on the inside. Very, very crazy. Is it like, oh, if I actually look at it, if I actually look closer now, they're not actually seats on the inside. That's actually a little go-kart on the inside. I just noticed that. That is really cool. Wow, that's some nice detail in there. That's pretty neat. Pretty neat. I like that. Uh, Ryu Design, which is nice, popular 
uh, Hot Wheels designer. We've got the little moon eyes on there as well. You can see the moon eyes. So that's just interesting, interesting. There's so much about this Dodge van. And now that we open it up, there's just a lot going on. It's a cool design. It's I love this open roof. I love that go-kart in there. And we can see just good detail in the headlights and stuff like that. So quite surprising. The very simple Dodge van is actually really, really cool. I really enjoyed this car. Toyota off-road truck from the Baja Blazers. It's another one with the mud tires on there. I love this series. I know I've said it many times, probably in the same video, but I really, really like the mud look to these cars. And then the Toyota off-road truck. We saw this one uh, maybe a few years ago as a super treasure hunt, but uh, we're getting more recolors of this one. Even right now, we've got the Holly on the front right there. We've got that spare tire that kind of raises up. Very, very cool Baja look. And of course, there is those mudded out tire and wheel combination right there. So cool looking, 55 on the side of it as well. Nice glossy orange paint job on there. Not much as far as tampa work or anything like that. It's mainly just a body, but we've got the cool push bar on the front. Toyota off-road truck, really neat casting. You gotta collect all of these ones. Definitely pick this one up. 1980 El Camino Hot Wheels art car series. There's so much going on with this car. Very neat looking as we open it up right here. Let's go ahead and see this one. So it's red and yellow and it's got the H on the top so you can spell out Hot Wheels if you have the whole collection of these ones here. But definitely look at the side of it. Look at all the stuff that's going on right there. Nice looking tamp work and detail and stuff like that. I mean, all these art cars, they put a lot of work into them to make the design and stuff like that. We've got that blue front end, the cool looking colored wheels on there. There's the blue that goes in the bottom. Even the tires are a different color as well. And you can see the back, it's actually just a fairly clean back. In the bed, we've got some yellow mixed in right there, but just an all around neat looking El Camino. I love to see this one in the art car series. It's just, it's just a very thought out, nice looking Hot Wheels car. And for our fantasy car fans, you gotta love the Zom bot from the Mattel Games series. Let's go ahead and pop him open and see what he's all about right here. And it's pretty much looks like a, like a robot type guy. You can see him kind of lying down right there. So if we look at him from above, and then if we look from the side, you can see him like laying down right there. So, oh, I almost dropped him here, but we've got him, we've got him pr pretty clean as far as his feet go. And then from the front end right there, you can see just like a, a bumper type thing for him. But just look at that, just look, look at him just looking right there. Very, very neat. It's it's a very cool looking casting here, the Zom bot. We've seen this one in several different colors before, but it's back now in this red. And our final car that we're opening up today is the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster from the Hot Wheels Race Day. This one, they do come as a super treasure hunt, but this is just the standard variation of it, the main line. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what it's all about. I really like this color on this car. I think it's a great looking casting as well. Just look at that crazy looking nice light blue. It almost looks like a, like like the Spectra Flame paint job. It's not quite that much detail, but it almost looks like it's like that. Nice looking detail on the side of it as well. All the race work stamping and stuff like that. We've got the race stripe down the center, continues onto the back, and then we've got the painted lights and stuff like that right there. Blacked out wheels. We've got the uh, side edge exhaust on there. Just a really, really cool all around Corvette Grand Sport 1960s. Today, we're going to unbox some brand new 2021 Hot Wheels 10 packs with some really exclusive Hot Wheels main lines. And we'll start it off with this first Hot Wheels 10 pack. We've got some great looking cars inside. Let's go ahead and pop it open. And I'm gonna show you some cool ones. Ones that we have not seen before, just a few of them here. So let's go ahead and pop it open. And we'll go ahead and take out the packaging right here. And let's start it off with one that we have right on top right here. And this one I believe is called Electro Silhouette. That's right, it is Electro Silhouette. There it is on the back. So a nice looking new fantasy casting. Actually, we've seen this one before, but still not bad to see some new color variations to stuff of Electro Silhouette. And then next up, we've got, it looks like Cyber Speeder, if I'm correct here. Yeah, it is Cyber Speeder. There we go. Cyber Speeder right there. That's a nice new color of Cyber Speeder. 
kind of cool looking greenish kind of like a goldish tint to it we've got gold wheels on there really really shiny ones on there and then this is our exclusive car for the pack we've got this uh, Volkswagen Beetle but still we have another really good one coming up here so this is a custom Volkswagen Beetle yellow this is kind of that special color of the pack that they always put up in the top corner so not too bad kind of a neat looking one if you like the Volkswagen Beetles but this for me is the highlight car for this case right here. It's the Audi RS5 Coupe in white, brand new color variation. I love to see these white uh, Audis that they have. We've gotten the, the R8 Spider in white, and now we get the RS5 Coupe in white. So very, very cool. Love the detail, love that like carbon fiber type of roof look. The gray wheels on there looks absolutely fantastic. Nice looking temp works. This one, we have not seen in the main lines yet for this color variation. We've seen this color before in the main, or, or this casting in the main line, but we'll definitely have to see this color reach the Hot Wheels main line cases very, very soon. We'll find out shortly though. And next up we've got the Hot Wheels Dream Mobile right here. So that's a cool looking new casting that we were seeing lately. We're getting some new recolors of it this year. This is the newest recolor of it. We did see this one, I believe in the A case though. So we've seen that one before. Uh, then we've got uh, the 2Jet Z. There's a new color for the 2Jet Z. There's the uh, black one and it's got like that shark fin stuff on the side of it like kind of the shark bite we originally saw this one as a silver one i believe and if you guys aren't uh, familiar with this casting this is the hot wheels legends tour 2018 winner uh so there we go so they made it into the hot wheels casting it's a really cool looking one nice looking casting kind of looks like a it's like a jet that's a car two jet z there we go two jet z there you go <laughs> and then we've got the porsche 944 this is a brand new color of the porsche 944 we've got the silverish gray and this is the magnus walker edition we did see this one in the b case but we've got it in this 10 pack now i like these gold wheels on there it looks really cool and next up we've got um what is this one called i'm not even sure what this is called uh don't see it on the bottom can't remember the exact name of this casting if you guys know the name of this casting type it in the comment section down below but nice looking wheels on this one very very neat and next one we have is i think this is uh is this paradox paradox is it let's see here nope it is slingshot my bad there we go slingshot there is Slingshot, the Hot Wheels race team coloring and logos on the side of it. And these uh, crazy wheels on there with the wheel and tire combination. Nice looking uh, tinted out roof and stuff and tinted out uh, windshield windows and all that good stuff right there. We'll put that one aside. And our last one is the Hot Wheels Art Cars El Camino. There is the Art Cars El Camino. We saw this one in our B case, but very, very nice. I love the coloring and stuff on there. Just really, really neat. I love all these Hot Wheels Art Cars. They're really nice to see all the different graphics and stuff that they put on the side of them. And here is our next 10 pack. And we've got a very special car in this one. Can you spot it yet? Can you spot it? Oh, 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 we're not gonna show you. We're not gonna show you. Let's go ahead and pop open this case. We'll cut this one open this time. So it's a little bit cleaner than me just tearing it open here. And we'll go ahead and just slide it on by right here. We'll put that aside and we'll start it off with our car right up top right here. And I can't remember the name of this one. Uh, this is the governor. That's right. I was remembering that the governor, the governor with the number five on the side of it nice looking color for this one very all plastic body uh, some of these fantasy castings they do make in the plastic bodies but nonetheless not a bad looking casting i really like these wheels i'd like to see that wheel tire combination the color of that on some other newer cars that would be really neat to see it on like a hypercar or something very very cool love love the colored lip on those with the blacked out look on there uh, we've got a, another hot wheels uh dream mobile or, or, hot, or mattel dream machine mattel dream mobile i can't remember the, what did they actually call it Mat yeah mattel dream mobile that's what it is so another one of those ones which we already saw that one and then looks like we've got an exclusive Dodge Charger. Or no, sorry, Challenger. Dodge Challenger, my bad, my bad. Dodge Challenger, there it is. Dodge Challenger with the uh, Dodge logo on the side of it. Nice looking color. We've got the nice roof on this one right here. And there's the bottom all blacked out right there. What year does it say it from? 08 Dodge Challenger. There we go, the 08 Dodge Challenger. So one of our original release ones. We got lots of different colors of these ones, but it's a nice looking casting. Nice to see some more of those ones. And then our next one, I believe this one is a GTO. I think it's a GTO. It doesn't say on the bottom right here exactly what this one is. I like this color though, I like the blacked out wheels with that chrome lip on there. It's a very classic look. I like to see that on more different cars that we come out with as well. But our next one, 
the Koenigsegg Jesko. That's right, we got a brand new recolor of the Koenigsegg Jesko, and this one's in like a dark gray color. And what I really like, and I've said before that I wanna see on the Jesko is more color like that. So more of like that stripe highlighting color, because I'd like to see that on the side. I feel like the side still looks a little bit plain, I'd love to see that more striping color, but nonetheless, I do really, really like this color variation. We actually have the original color variation just right back here, so we can get a little bit of a comparison of the two right here. So there's our original one in the silver. Now we've got the dark gray. So same wheels, I believe it is, except the original release has chrome, and these ones are like just a darker gray color, so they kind of match the darker gray. But I don't know, guys. You guys comment down below. Which is your favorite color? of the Koenigsegg Jesko. Do you like the original one in that silver or do you like the new dark gray variation? This one we'll probably see in a mainline case coming up very soon, but we see it first in these Hot Wheels 10 packs. So very, very cool. Such an awesome casting. I know how much you guys love these Koenigseggs. So it's nice to see more colors of it. And I'm sure we'll get more of them again in the future. And next up we have the Triumph TR6 with the number 54 on the side, the green all around it. Very, very cool looking casting. It's cool with that removed windshield. It's a very race car-ish look. And I've said this before, it kind of looks a little bit like a 60s Mustang casting. It almost looks very, very similar to a 60s Mustang, but nonetheless, still a nice looking car. Then we've got a Mini Cooper. Mini Cooper, we've got lots of different recolors of the Mini Cooper. Uh, there's another one and we got, look at that, the checkers on the top of it. That actually looks really cool. I like that, I like the checkered look on the top of it. And all these Mini Coopers, they remind me of Mr. Bean. They're just, the, it's the classic Mr. Bean car. That's how, I, that's how I kind of think of it. That's how it got popular. I feel like it's definitely a Mr. Bean car. I love it, love it, love it. Uh, we've got also a really cool Lamborghini Gallardo. Nice to see this back into this case here. We've seen this one previously in our 2020. It's a recolor, uh, but uh, definitely a nice color to this. And I love the wheels. I love these like yellow highlighted wheels. When they spin, it just looks so cool. It just looks like it's going so fast. I wonder if we can get these both to spin. There you go. So you can kind of get a good idea of what that looks like when it's moving. <laughs> Lamborghini Gallardo, nice to see that one back in a 10 pack though. There we go. And then we've got Another Cyber Speeder, so same one that we saw in the previous case. There it is, the Cyber Speeder with the yellow, um, kind of a yellowish tinted wheel with white, and then we've got the gold on the front of it though. Pretty cool, Cyber Speeder. And then uh, we've got, I think this one is Shark Cruiser. There we go, another color of Shark Cruiser here. There's the top, look at the design on the top of it. It looks almost like a, like kind of like the native Indian design, uh, kind of like that, kind of like the totem and pole and stuff like that. So I'm not sure where that's exactly inspired from, but if you guys know more information on that, let me know in the comment section down below. I really like it though. I think it looks cool. I like the design on it. I think it looks really neat, but there we go. Awesome, awesome, look at that. Just such a, a neat looking casting, isn't it, right? And our last 10 pack that we have to open up right here, we've got a Lamborghini, we've got some new recolors in this one. So let's go ahead and pop this one open right here. And I've gotten down how to cut these a little bit better with my knife right now. So let's go ahead and pop that one open. And you know what, we'll start it off with our Lamborghini. Why not, here it is. Lamborghini Centenario Roadster in red. Very gloss red. I love it. I love it. We have seen this one before, but nonetheless, it's nice to have another one in this 10 pack. And this color variation, I, I'm just, I'm obsessed. I love, I love the red. Red with black, it looks really, really good. It's a great looking color combination. So nice to see that Centenario recolored. And uh, another red card that we have, which I'm also excited about. We saw this one in our previous case, but it is the Volvo 850 Estate, and we've got this new glossy red color of this one. Um, I didn't like the previous ones that were a little bit too, uh, I mean, the, the previous release was like a gray with a lot of dirt and stuff like that. I don't know, it looked like dirt. It was just like a dirty looking casting. But uh, nonetheless, I love the clean look of the new red Volvo 850 Estate. So we've got that one, we'll put that one aside, and then let's see what else we have up top here. We've got a Lotus Esprit, and uh, kind of a weird looking color. I guess it is like a the British Racing Green, if I'm not mistaken, but there we go. The mesh wheels on there. So that's a definitely a new color. This casting has been around for a long, long time, but nice to get some new recolors of it. Why not? 
can't complain. And this is the, the, the quote unquote special car of the pack or the special recolor of the pack. It looks like a Ford Thunderbolt. Does it say in the bottom? Yes, it is. Ford Thunderbolt. There we go. We got that one. Awesome. Awesome. Love it. Like the, the cowl hood on the Thunderbolts. Um, and these ones are known to be white in real life, like the classic white racing color for this one. But nonetheless, I like the new recolor of this one. Blacked out wheels with a gold lip on there. We'll throw him aside. Then we've got the black Acura NSX. This is the 2017 Acura NSX. A nice, very, very glossy black look to this one right here. You can see the nice tampa work for the lights in there. The gray wheels look fantastic for this one. Nice looking tampa work and stamping on the front of it. Just an all around good looking casting, the Acura NSX. And then we've got the, uh, I believe this one is uh, like the Volt, something Volt, Super Volt, Super Volt, that's what it is. So I think it's actually a Chevy Volt. It says trademark GM. So yes, it is a Chevy Volt, but Super Volt meaning it's the drag car for it. So you can see that it's got like that parachute on the back of it. Even the graphics, they do kind of look like a, a Volt type of moving electricity of some sort on the side of it. Big electric engine on the front of it. And then we've got the chrome interior on the Super Volt. Cool looking black wheels with the colored lip on there and then we've got another one of the uh the shark cruisers i believe it is the shark cruiser yes it is shark cruiser there we go so it's the same one that we saw previously in the previous case so very very cool casting i like that one you guys know that and we've got the nissan i think this is the 180 sx if i'm not mistaken let's see nissan sylvia s13 well i was a little bit off but very close 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 nissan sylvia s13 look at the graphics and color on the side of this one gold mesh wheels great great looking cast a lot of these 80s and early 90s jdm cars that are coming out they just look great love to see them to the hot wheels lineup and then we've got this one right here and this one is what is this one called f1 racer it is f1 racer there we go so it's hot wheels variation of an f1 car so it's not an officially licensed f1 car but it definitely does look cool kind of fits with like the indie oval for the indie cars and the f1 cars so very very cool looking one and our last car that we have today right here is project speeder that's right we've seen this casting before but nonetheless i love to see this new recolor of it and this one's a very gloss black look and then it looks like it's like supposedly slightly beat up and stuff on the side that's just how this casting is supposed to be you can see how the front fenders are like kind of removed it looks super aggressive it's got that chrome exposed engine on there just a really neat looking car look at that even it looks like is that a parachute on the back it is a parachute on the back of it as well but very very cool all right guys there is all of the cars that we opened up and unboxed today and took a close-up look at i've got my four favorites right here in the front we've got the audi rs5 coupe in white i really really like that we've got the konezeg jesco new recolor of that one we've got the lamborghini gallardo love the lambos of course and we've got the centenario roadster the lamborghini centenario roadster guys comment down below which one was your favorite if it was maybe not one of these four maybe it was one of the other ones guys thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one Bye bye